welcome, welcome everyone to Keeping Candles Mysterious, where we have a hype train running before we've even gotten going, because you guys are amazing! Uh, my goodness gracious, uh, we are Lawful Stupid RPG, and we're thrilled to have you join us while we play some of the Candlekeep Mysteries module with some additions. My name is Buddy, and I am helming this adventure, uh, while our normal Saturday night game, Cold Hard Witch, is on hiatus. If you've joined us uh, for our first venture into Candlekeep, you might notice some new faces. Let's see who we have here tonight, shall we? Tonight, we have Ben playing Sledge, the Sator Chronergy Wizard. Z playing Raven, the Elf Mercy Monk. Grindy playing Gen, the Elf Soul Knife Rogue. That is a mouthful to say. Uh, and Pixie playing Narcissus, the Sorcerer Eloquence Bard. Uh, Riala's player is feeling under the weather at the moment and will not be joining us. And Aerith's player is also feeling under the weather at the moment and will not be joining us. Last week, our unique party had been assembled by Master Sage Tomris, the handler for all the adventurers that Candlekeep uses. She had an assignment for them. And she had just introduced Sarah, an agent of the Harpers. Sarah was beginning to describe the job when a commotion began outside, and an acolyte rushed to find them to let them know that Candlekeep was under attack. The party struck into action, dealing first with a fire giant, and then several other nefarious persons, while many of the monks of Candlekeep fought a pitched battle outside the gates. They pursued. They pursued two individuals deeper into the city, and while they managed to capture one, she was killed by the remaining assailant. They managed to capture him and have holed up in a secure location to decide their next steps. Uh, all right, so you find yourself um, in this room where you, uh, if everyone remembers, um, Gen had smoothly, smoothly opened with a roll of 39. <laughs> His thieves' tools almost weren't even out of the pouch before they were back in, and the door swung silently open. And uh, you have holed up in this room with your prisoner. Yes, and uh, right before we entered, uh, uh, I had cast uh, Pass Without Trace. Mm -hmm. So we've got that going, a little sauna effect. Um, <laughs> after we get, <laughs> is that what your pass without traces is, is yes a sauna? <laughs> yes yes it is uh you distinctly hear the sound of sizzling rocks and a uh, fog forms um you would think that it would be attracting more attention because everybody's sweating <laughs> and kind of glimmering slightly but uh no it's the the the, the steam from the sauna effect that that's kind of that's Blurring. the magic. <laughs> so if they do um, see you, you still look really good. It's like really Facetune. <laughs> <laughs> well, and as we go in there, obviously, uh, the, with the sauna going on, we've got our prisoner, uh, Sledge, uh, will... Oh, no, this, this outfit won't do. And he'll snap his fingers and a loose-fitting white almost bathrobe-esque uh, look appears. And of course, monogrammed with SS for Sledge Swolehoof. Um, okay, now... The, the inventor of SSH, from what I hear, for the <laughs> Well, I mean, let's keep it down low now. Um, now that I'm in the proper clothing for the environment, um, what are we going to do with the... With with this, uh, and he'll kind of gesture over towards our uh, our guest. <laughs> we interrogate him. Find out I mean, why they were attacking Candlekeep. I can be pretty persuasive if we just want to ask a few questions. Uh, so he is unconscious at zero hit points, so you'll have to at least give him one hit point. Uh, to bring him back up. Mon ami Raven, are you able to? To help us out here? <laughs> I know you're good at putting them to sleep, but can you also wake him up? It's so much easier to make them sleep. But there is... There is some remedies and other things that can wake people up pretty fast. I mean, hell, we found these on them then breaks out one of the little 
little bottles that they had uh, found on one of the previous bodies. Mm -hmm. It seems to be you know, a smaller po potion for healing. Whether it's laced with anything, I'm not sure. I haven't haven't checked it yet, but we could always um, make it be the guinea pig. Ah, uh, yes, a test subject. That that would be wise. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're gonna administer a uh, a potion of healing to yes, uh, to one the, yeah, one of ones off the fallen people out there because I've yet to check them out. <laughs> sure, absolutely. Uh, all right. Well, so why don't you go ahead and roll that healing for that? Sure. And, he's, and this is a reminder: he is tied up, manacled because of narcissist's manacles and mm -hmm. such. And so he's also caught in Sledge's gaze. <laughs> I, I want that to be its own spell. <laughs> all right. So on the, for two d four plus two, that is actually going to be. Total nine points given back to him. I rolled pretty well. All right, nine points. So, which is easy enough to get rid of in one foul kick. <sighs> it's those oh, cracking uh, dice. He uh, he, it is cracking dice. He he comes awake and slowly looks at all of you, and then just sits silently. Ah, hmm. uh, Monami, why you must you be this way? I think there's two ways to do this. Either you can answer my questions or my friends, so they can have some fun. <laughs> and he just looks at you and and just kind of smiles. Hmm. When does that start? The fun. Is this, is oh. this the fun? Is this the fun? It, apparently. Apparently he's into that narcissus. Ah, uh, mm. hmm. Uh, uh, again, um, you have a way with uh, nightmares, and Raven, you have a way of, well, reversing what you just did to him. So, uh, maybe let the good times roll? Well, we could start by asking him questions. But, but, uh, okay, yes, I guess we could do that. All right. Uh, and before anyone asks any questions, I do want to cast Detect Thoughts on him using my telepathy. Ooh, okay. Tell me, um, tell me the, the breadth and depth of that, because I had not prepared okay. for that. Okay. Uh, so Detect Thoughts, uh, it, it, it lasts up to a minute. Okay. Um, but for the duration, I can read the thoughts of certain creatures. Mm -hmm. um, I can focus my mind on any creature within 30 feet that I can see. Um, I can init I can learn the surface thoughts of the creature, what is most on its mind in that moment. Um, and as an action, I can also attempt to probe deeper into his mind, which would require a save. Okay. He. Uh, but, but there's no save to just detect surface thoughts. So if they're bringing so something to his mind. For sure. So the uh, I will tell you that you can you can easily pick up that the thing he is immediately thinking is how the hell he can get out of this situation. He is, he's sizing all of you up and uh, testing all of his bonds and looking at where the door is and is a little bit unconcerned with what you're saying or what you're doing. He's He is working on an escape plan. Uh, I will turn around to him and I will say, uh, Monami, are you sure you don't want to help us out? And I'll cast Suggestion. Ooh, okay. Wisdom save. Not something he's super at, <laughs> especially against the DC 19. Uh, you know, close. That was a 15. Uh, he, he, he struggles and, and. Uh, uh, okay. What? Tell me what you need and, and, and I, I can, I, I can think about that. Why are your friends attacking Candlekeep? Must I be truthful with suggestion? Uh, so if a target fails, uh, it must pursue the course of action I described to the best of its ability. Um, the suggested course of action can continue for the entire duration 
Uh, if the suggest activity can be completed in a shorter time, the spell ends when the subject finishes what it is asked to do. In this okay. case, help us out. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, well, gosh, that's easy. We're, we're, we're doing this because we get paid. I'm glad, I'm glad I could help. Glad I could be a service. Uh, I mean, if, if, if that's what he would consider helping us out, then that would end the spell. I'm willing to let it play out um, and, and see. So how much were they paying you to waste your life then? Oh, waste? Uh, I, I mean, I don't know that it's a waste. That, that's, uh, the places I've seen and the things I've done, this is, this is a pretty good gig. Again, you're still... He's talking and he's being friendly, but he is still probing those ropes and those manacles pretty hard. He's, he, he, that all of his hind brain is at work trying to figure that part out. Uh, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's a lot. It's, 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 it's pretty good pay, but, uh, wasted is, that's pretty, pretty tough words there. Are you, oh, sorry. Are you after something here? Uh, is there something you came to collect? Oh, no, I, I was just kind of part of the initial shock and awe thing. You know what? I'm actually going to telepathically say to Narcissus, try asking him who they're looking for. And this, uh, this group that are paying you so well, do you know anything about them? Can you tell me anything about them? Maybe I want to get a job with them. I mean, when there's such handsome men like you here. Oh, well, after watching you guys kick butt out there, there's probably room for all of you. Uh, the thing I can tell you is they, they know a lot of people and seemingly have a lot of money or they know how to promise a lot of money. I'm guessing they found you, not you found them then. Uh, it's somewhat mutual. I mean, it, you're looking to be found sometimes when you find things. Any... Hints on how I can get in contact with them? Uh, uh well, uh, they're they're probably deeper in the city. You could just go chat with them. Uh, as the questioning continues, uh, Sledge is going to kind of take a step forward, and uh, he's basking in the ambiance of the sauna. Um, but he also Ooh, uh, it's hot in here. What's, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, what is happening? Uh, it's, it's called, uh, uh, release. Let, let your pores just release. Um, and he's going to kind of keep an eye on, on this person. Um, if I could, uh, hold, uh, hold on to, uh, an action just in case he breaks out, uh, momentary stasis. Uh, so if he like breaks his bonds or, or something, I would like to, uh, use that on him a little class feature. Uh, oh, it is. It's not a spell slot. It is not. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, all right. Then, then we'll say that you're you're keeping eye out on that. Um, and he <laughs> is. He's he's he realizes now hot it is in here, and thinking about now my arms are sweated up a little bit. Maybe a little easier to roll my sleight of hand and get out of those bonds. Hmm. Again, I do not seem to be able to find the words to ask him the proper questions, perhaps. You know, the words, they are not coming to mind. I have another way to try then. Again, we'll actually step up behind him um, and pull his eye patch off. Now, for a split second, you can see just an empty gap where his eye would be. And then, much like he creates these glowing red daggers, a glowing red orb appears inside of the empty space as he grabs the man's head and gazes intensely at him. From show in, me in, into the back of his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just oh, peering into his mind. That um, I'm going to try and probe. Beautiful. Deeper. Okay, what's my resist on that? All right, so it's actually. It's not a high DC, unfortunately. For me, it is, let's see. So the save DC is wisdom 14. Well, lucky for you, he doesn't have a whole lot of wisdom. Uh, but he did beat that with a 15. Now, 
as this happened, Sledge, being the workout champ that he is, uh, sees momentarily Gen's idea and plot and, and this creature trying to, to move through it and uses chronal shift as a reaction after you or a creature you can see within 30 feet makes an attack roll, an ability check, or a saving throw, you can force the creature to re-roll. Uh, this, How many times a day can you use that? Uh, twice but, uh, per long rest. Okay, make sure you mark one off. I did. I'll I be re-rolling that save. Uh, and this time I got a 16. Ah! Crackin' dice! <laughs> As it replays out again, Sledge goes, Oh, well... <laughs> I suppose I wasn't on for that one. Uh, I don't think anyone else sees it replay. Uh, so yeah, Sledge just notices his own failure. <laughs> <laughs> Nor was I. He puts his eye patch on. When you were around yeah. behind him, did you stand him up so that, that it was easier, or did you kneel down? No, he would have. Uh, he would have like reached down. Okay. Hmm. Mm, it is. Is this the fun part? I mean, because I'm. I am a bit amused, but uh, I wouldn't call it fun. But I would. I would say it's amusing. Is, is this the the amusing part of the night? I'm actually s sort of amused. Uh, n now, um, well, obviously, you're not going to tell us who you work for or uh, what it is exactly that you're here for, but. Uh, what were you supposed to do after you got in? Uh, like, uh, kill us all and then loot the place and, and go where? Where were you going to go after this? <laughs> Who said we were coming in to kill you all? My my question is, the little red coin, what... It, it confuses me. What is it? It's a, uh, a rite of passage, let's say. Hmm. What do you have to do to earn this, this, uh, right? I mean, we've earned several. Uh, how many do we have now? Uh, well, anyway, we've got a lot from all the, uh, 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 other friends out there that are not here with you. Well, if you have enough, then you don't need me to tell you how to get more. You know how to get them. You just kill us. Huh? Hmm. Their logic is irrefutable. <laughs> uh, so if, if this is all the fun, uh, I, I can just be on my way and, and not bother you, you fine folk anymore. Uh, if you could just, uh, just loosen those bonds there and, uh, I'll just walk right out and we won't have to ever talk about each other again. Any other questions before we let him go? Hey, he is, uh, definitely not giving us any information that, uh, is useful, in my opinion. And there seems to be more we need to do further in. Can I reach down and tighten his bonds, by the way? Sure. Just real casually. Sure. I mean, he's he's sweaty, uh, <laughs> so that that's a little a little bit of a thing. But uh, but honestly, it actually makes it so you can kind of just really cinch him up, you know, pretty well. So. If you're still detecting, are you still detecting his thoughts, his surface thoughts? Uh, has it been a minute? No, not. I, we're coming close, but maybe not quite a minute yet. And um, I'm still the tip of your stock, yes. <clears throat> he, uh, he has been searching for a way out, but at, uh, at Narcissa's suggestion that you're going to let him go, he, he actually does relax a little bit at that. Finding mm -hmm. you all reasonable. Hmm. Well, what more can we, we uh, uh, gain from this person, uh, awake or not? 
Right, right you are. Right you are. Hmm. Perhaps we should give them to someone else back inside to take care of this. No. You know, they're really busy. Uh, we, you, if you if you just cut me free, I, I won't see you ever again, and you'll never see me ever again. I don't think that's the best idea. I mean, the gate is right there. I'm sure there's some people there cleaning up the rubble. We could just drop you off with, with them, and then, you know. But they're so busy. He's actually gonna make a he's gonna make a persuasion check at you. <laughs> as, he, as he does that, uh, I, I sheath my katana from my from my side. He uh, uh, eleven uh. So he's made a, a a persuasion check at you for uh thirteen. At uh, uh sledge or at sledge, yeah. And uh, do I need, uh, is that passive inside or just? Uh, no, just, just ro uh, I'll say roll your inside against it. Uh, oh, a sledge, he's, he's strong, but not, not wise. Ooh, that's, <laughs> you beat it. Yes. Um, so for almost a moment, almost a moment, it starts to sound like a good idea, but then you're like, eh. You're like, those so rocks, those rocks are kind of heavy. And I mean, they'd have to watch. The what? No, 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 that is not a good idea. Um, perhaps we take a moment just to take him back to to uh, some folks to watch and move a uh, deeper. There were more bodies down those alleys. And Riala finally speaks. Uh, we, we do not have time for that. Uh, Aerith and I will will take him to to the to to Master Sage Thomas. You, you go further further in. We will we will catch up. And so she goes over and unceremoniously snatches him to his feet. I was going to say I was uh, I was going to cut him loose. <laughs> That's why I drew my my drew my katana while we were all talking. And while he was down, I was going to swing it upon him. But uh, I well, I, I will I will still let you try that uh, kind of at the same time that she's moving toward him. Yes. Don't make a crit fail, uh, but you do roll with advantage <laughs> because he is yes. bound and on 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 the floor on his knees. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm I'm intending to knock him out. Okay, non-lethal. Yeah. So it's a ten and a nineteen on a die, so twenty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> That is a successful hit. Uh, roll your damage, please. Barely. <laughs> All right. That's a six on the die, plus five, so 11. <laughs> Out like a light. Again. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, th so tell me how you do that. Do you use the blade or do you just come up and just like butt stroke him with the hilt? Oh, I. I come down, swinging the blade down as though I'm going to basically, you know, cut his head off. But at the last moment, I, f I rotate the blade in my hand and hit him with the spine. Nice. The blade. Nice. Just knocking him unconscious. Yeah, and so Riala reaches to grab him by the shoulder unceremoniously, and you give him a good whack in the head, and then he, he face plants into the, the, the floor like a, just like a sack of wet socks. And, uh, oh... Thank you. I, I don't know that we could have handled him awake. <laughs> and so she again snatches him up, more sort of like half dragging now. And she and. Uh, I did say Aerith, we were going to cut him loose, so I was just keeping their words true. <laughs> uh, she she and Aerith uh, get on either side of him. Uh, we, we will take him to, to Master Sage. Uh, you, you push deeper and. For God's sakes, be careful! It, it, it's it's why is it so foggy in here? And I, they, through, <laughs> through the fog, uh, Sledge is like, "Come back soon. We'll be here, and there will definitely be a flex." <laughs> <laughs> you can you can hear them discussing you as they walk away, but you can't quite make out what they're saying. All Sledge here is is Sledge, and he's like, "Got him, got him." <laughs> <laughs> Works every time. <laughs> so if, they, if they looked back and said anything, I probably understood it because I can read their lips. 
Not in my sauna fog. No, I'm just... <laughs> That's true. You do have sauna without trace on. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Sauna without trace. Yep. Uh, all right. So now there are the four of you. Um, what would you like to do? Ooh. Um, well, I believe... Uh, was it to the south that we had found or that more of the... Uh, invaders had been found or or the guardsmen so you remember that um if you if you pan your map out a little bit kind of straight west of you um from both directions around that building um uh, Aerith had heard some voices but that's kind of all you know she she couldn't quite clock how many voices or if they were if they were angry or if they were fighting or, or what, you just you, you heard things there. Um, and remember that just outside here, um, a, um, a dead body, uh, someone wearing what I believe some of you clocked as robes of a um, of a candlekeep custodian. Um, yeah. And then to the south, there were also uh, a couple of corpses that are, were not of your doing. So I suppose the question is west or south. Um, knowing uh, Candlekeep in somewhat relative uh, ways, uh, would we know if there was something more or less uh, important to the west or the south? Um, so I would say that as a wizard, you kind of revere everything here as important, even though, you know, you are you're 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 a muscle. Bookcases. Bookcases you know, are heavy. You absolutely. know, I gotta go. I gotta you, lift every bookcase in this in this place, you know. Even though you're a muscle wizard, you you understand the value and the the significance of, of the knowledge here. And so you would think that everything is important. Um as for uh, halls of stored artifacts or something, you have heard rumors that they exist here, but None of you are, are at a level or a uh, reputation yet with Candlekeep where you would know where any of that stuff was. Uh, so to the uh, to the group here, um, Sedge will kind of uh, look around and, um, well, I, I guess it really just comes down to uh, west or south. Um I really have no preference. Uh, and he'll kind of uh, look at the group uh, and head towards the door, just uh, standing by it, sort of. Which way are we going to go? Well, there's also the north, because we did find the one body up there, which still led further on. So technically, we have three directions, while knowing there was voices coming from the west. Well, now you're making this harder. <laughs> <laughs> Um, knowing Candlekeep, we would know that West was kind of the way further in, right? The library. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a from 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 where you came in and and kind of how you got to here. There's a little bit north, but you know that kind of more of it is west and south. But you do know that there's a little bit north. Um, I suppose we can come around this this corner here and uh, check out the body right here to the north and um, see if that alley goes westward at all. Um, uh, Gen, is there a way to uh, do what you did but backwards as far as this uh, door is concerned, uh, relocking it? DM, is there a way to do that? Uh, there is. I mean, the the question you have to ask yourself is, do you care? Uh, you you, can, <laughs> you could you could also uh, you could definitely roll another thieves tools. Um, sure. At, 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 at a at a at a lower DC, honestly, uh, to try to relock right. it. Um, or you guys. A non thirty nine DC. <laughs> yes, yeah, a non thirty nine DC. Uh, <laughs> or you guys could just be like deuces. Oh, golly. oh, oh yes! Golly. Don't roll a thirty-nine. Roll a thirty-four instead. You know. Yeah, do like smooth locked it. Like you might have actually oiled it. It might work a little better now than than before. So the shop owner is going to be like, "Oh shit! It, this lock's working really good now." 
Um, <laughs> I, I could almost see his, his tools come out and it's like time stops for everyone. He takes it out. He polishes everything in there. It's, you know, <laughs> rubs it in some of the oil that's on the edge. Yeah. To, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just oils like, the hinges so it doesn't creak or anything. <laughs> Sledge, let me get some of that oil. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, if, if, uh, we want to go that way, I suppose, uh, sledge would start coming around this corner here and, uh, heading towards this, this body to, to investigate it. If okay. possible. What are the other three of you into? I will follow. Letting sledge get killed. That's what they're doing. <laughs> Raven and Narcissus. Uh, <laughs> following and trying to be stealthy about it which is unlike Narcissus so she's kind of like on her tiptoes just like how do I not draw attention to myself just stay like close thinking to in her me. head what would Raven do what would Raven do yeah I'll also uh, try and be thinking oh oh you disappear no uh Z make sure that you're on your pointer tool the select mode oh I am I am you should have control of your token Mm -hmm. see the monk is actually so fast that uh she went out and in and out and uh, you know it's just <laughs> stuck. maybe just try drawing a new token onto the board and we can get rid of that one if... yeah try that, try, try that new one see if that's better this one works over here but okay. um that's fine. We'll get rid of that one. It's like slight technical difficulties. <laughs> Yay, roll 20. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, give me just a second. I'll open a little bit more up here. Uh, yeah, so you, you're you definitely looking down a uh, there's an alley that has another turn in it, uh, but but at you, it, it looks like uh, I said you guys would definitely recognize the these red robes as someone who worked at Candlekeep, maybe maybe like a custodian or or something like that, someone lower tier for sure, and um, there are unmistakable uh, stab marks um, along the body, uh, and you guys can roll an investigation to see if there's any more. Yeah, I was I was gonna say, are there any you know footprints or anything leading in a direction? Uh, so let's. See. You're gonna have to roll an investigation on that. Will do. Will, and do. <laughs> so that everyone, that's a thirty that he just rolled, and technically it's a critical, but uh, I, you can I, really look any better than than you did. Not, I work all 20. my muscles. Um, yeah. So so he. He doesn't have anything on him. It's hard to hard to know if it's been even with that role, if it's been taken from him or if he just wasn't carrying anything. Though in his hand is a scrap of paper. Oh. Um Okay. Uh Sledge will kind of bend over and um Am I able to read it uh from where I am or it's, without it's, it's kind of like 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 crunched up so you could you could get it out of his hands, especially with the 30. Okay. Okay. Without, without being too disrespectful. Understood. Um, yeah, flex the muscles there, Sledge. <laughs> um, so, yes, I will uh, attempt to do that so I can get to the note and, and maybe shed some light. Okay. So you, uh, you, you pry the note for you. No, no problem. You, you unfurl it and it, it looks as though it was very, very hastily written. And all it says is, not all of us, just the livestock. Well, I'll put it in hmm. the roll 20 chat for, yeah, the roll 20 chat. Copy. Sledge looks down at his uh, hooved hindquarters and he takes offense uh to this note uh you know that's <laughs> that is oh, 
oh, and he will kind of hand the note um, to Narcissus and say, look at this. Uh, and um, he kind of stands up and, you know, huffily walks over here, crossing his arms. That's just, oh. Um, Are you just afraid that your paramour is won't be alive anymore? <laughs> Well, that's not to say that, but I mean, we, uh, well, now, uh, uh, um, and uh, does it, oh, hmm. And it's, of course, impossible to tell if it was taken from his attacker or if it was um, him, right, that had, for some reason, had this note. Yeah, I would say that's difficult to tell, but um, I don't know with a thir with a thirty. I don't know why an attacker would have that and allow him to grab it from them. Mm -hmm. So I would say it's a reasonable guess to say that that, that he that he he wrote it or that he brought it from somewhere, but but did not take it from his assailant. Um, the the stab wounds seem to mostly be in the back, like you know, all around the the the, the ribs and everything from the back. So he may not have ever seen. His assailant. Um, okay. Hmm. Uh, uh, what do you make of of that uh, disgusting note? Are you talking to me? Oh, yeah, I was uh, I, talking to I, I, no I, to not, I wrote uh, Sorry, <laughs> I, I had <laughs> yeah. I wrote. I know exactly what I think. <laughs> about. Um, sorry, I was talking to uh, uh, Narcissus. I think that perhaps uh, somebody found out that the attack was about to happen and that maybe somebody on the inside is involved in this and by the livestock they are talking about uh, what they would see as the peons, the rough housing as uh, it seems that we have found one of the custodial bodies perhaps here. Hmm. Uh, Sledge actually visibly kind of loosens up and he's, oh, well, I, okay, I guess that does make more sense. Um, and uh, taking a step this way, is there any sound or, or anything coming from uh, the alley corner here? Roll a perception check, please. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Sledge must, uh, I guess some of the sheen must be uh, wearing off because he's actually paying attention to something other than his muscles right now. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I will say that with a with a 14, I mean, there's there is, are sounds, but again, you it's, Canada keeps a big place. There's a lot of people that are here. You haven't really seen kind of nearly enough of of the normal inhabitants. You don't know if they're holed up in the in the buildings and you're hearing something from that, but there, there definitely is some kind of noise well, uh, and Sledge will kind of turn to Gen and, and Raven. Um, I know you two are especially nimble. Um, if you stay, well, not too far ahead of me, um, perhaps we can scout out uh, ahead without anyone even knowing we're there. I'm finally starting to think a little bit on my wavelength. <laughs> <laughs> I was about ready to uh, suggest that again, and I, well, to some degree, be up ahead of everybody. Yep. Good. Let me move my attack tokens to the rear. I would try and keep up. <laughs> no. Um, well, don't worry. Yes, your it's... attack tokens can be anywhere. I get them in, in less than six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> because monk. Um, because monk. Absolutely. Hashtag because monk. Uh, yes, yeah, so as as long as you guys are within uh, the 30 feet, I believe it is, I think it's 30, um, for, uh, oh, pass, for without pass Without Trace. trace. Yeah, you'll get that plus 10. That lasts for an hour, you it said? Does. Okay, it does. Okay, concentration? It is, it okay. is. <laughs> as long as we're staying apart from each other, though, there's something uh, I'd like to do. And then uh, Gen is actually going to um, sort of focus for a second and... Uh, sort of much like the red glowing uh, knives again, sort of these threads sort of appear from him to everyone else and then vanish. Um, I'm going to do psychic whispers to try and establish a 
telepathic link so everyone can connect with each other. Uh, let's see. A roll of a psychic dice over so six hours, as long as we're within one mile of each other. Um, I can communicate telepathically with them and they can respond to me. That is handy. That is very Welcome. handy. Okay. Welcome to Sledge's mind. Oh, oh man. Yeah. It, is, it, is, it is so <laughs> strange in there. Uh, all right. So you guys going to move up a little? Sneaky, sneaky. Yep. All right. All right. Let me get my revealer out. So I'll just move up here. Yes, and just let me know whenever, um, whatever you see, and I will stay as close as a wizard needs to be. <laughs> 120. <laughs> as, uh, sledge Wolf, as close as a wizard needs to be. Uh, you can uh, p put that in a pamphlet somewhere. Um, <laughs> Uh, all right, so you see out there's a the building in front of you has a uh, kind of a raised section. It, it's not like a full story up, but it's it's several feet up, and you can see that there's some some unoccupied tables and chairs um, that that are up there. A couple of the chairs are turned over, so maybe maybe somebody made a kind of a quick retreat from there. And while you guys are thinking about what to do on that, I just want to catch up real quick here. It's from the beginning of the stream, thank you so much. It's uh, Rico resubbed. Iris Lad um, follow. Thank you, Iris Lad, for the bits. Uh, Thinnish Expert resub. 15 months for Thinnish Expert. Um, Pixie with subs. We 12-sided uh, guy with bits. Pixie with subs. We completed a level 2 hype train, everyone. So that's going to be a, a $10... Uh, an extra $10 card that we draw for when we draw with the $15 normal Kraken card that we give away uh, after the break. So thank you so awesome. much. Everyone. Um, so that is... Uh, I have to refresh myself on the, the bits thing. I will do that while you guys make your next plan. Do, do, do. Um... Yeah, uh, Sledge will kind of just stay back, you know, that 25 to 30 feet or so um, as you guys uh, continue to move forward. Um, and uh, behind, you know, he's, you know, Narcissus, are you following close? <laughs> Doing the over-the-shoulder wink? Don't worry, I work on my glutes as well. That's when he noticed that Narcissus is kind of walking almost like half backwards to kind of keep an <laughs> eye behind them. It's like, ah, uh, yes, but uh, we have to go this way because if you were behind me, I can guarantee you would not be paying attention to the way. <laughs> You're right, because even in that moment, I couldn't help but look down. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys gonna press and move up a little bit more? You're still pass without sauna or sauna without trace. What was it? We Sa called? Sauna, sauna without, without trace. trace. Oh yeah, that's the one. That is the one. Um, yes, I'm waiting for my super sneakies. Ah uh, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. So waiting on um, Raven and Gen. All right. Let's know when we need to roll stealth. If we need stealth to roll, as we keep moving. Um, also going to be rolling and stuff. So I'm trying to. Um, I'm going to say that because of Pass Without Trace, you guys are actually doing okay on on your stealth. Um, and I will say just logistically that going north, it, it kind of peters out pretty close up there. This is actually the end of my map, but <clears throat> the... You can assume that a one of the walls, the northern walls of Candlekeep, is that way. So there's really nothing kind of beyond that. Uh, and then, how much vision do you have? Uh, did you say 120 feet, Z? That you have that Raven has? Nope, just a uh, 60. 60. Okay. Uh, Narcissus is the 120. Gotcha, gotcha. 
Yeah, I mean, it's not specifically dark in here, but I'm just trying to add flavor. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, I can see for miles. Let's it's say... Let's so, buddy. Let's, yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's say everybody roll a perception check again, please. Okay. So ah. 20, 21, a 5, a 27. <laughs> uh, 23. <laughs> There's no meant to be looking our hands. So not that finally, me. finally, Sledge <laughs> got caught looking at himself. Finally. So everyone except for Sledge, <laughs> you uh, you definitely hear uh, the sound of of voices uh, coming from this from this direction, further further down the street a little bit. Sledge probably starts walking towards the northern wall that is obviously a northern <laughs> wall. <laughs> Someone put this workout kit in here. There's a great uh, wall climb over here. Sneak in the direction of the voices. Keep uh, your ear okay. Let's see if I can eavesdrop. Uh, oh, okay. That sounds good. Uh, so why don't you uh, sneak up a bit? I'll give you a little more expansion. Which direction was that? Uh, from yeah, this okay. direction over here. West direction. All right. The western. Yes, west. Because I can't talk. West. <laughs> west. West is beast. So you're gonna take those little stairs and go up to that kind of slightly raised level. Yep. Nice. All right. Let me get my polygon reveal. You can see kind of those are alleys between buildings. Um, and you can see. Made it even more fun for Buddy. <laughs> Still same within the 30, but uh, these are roofs that are down here, like roof walls right here. Yes. Okay. Are you going gonna to wall run yeah. and go uh -huh. top? <laughs> yep. Uh, all right. It's like I'm still keeping within the radius of, of his extra stealth for all of us. So I will tell you that it's actually okay because I'm just going to go easy mode with that. Because <laughs> I just can't be arsed with it. Yep. So much like the roof that you were on earlier, this is just kind of standard, you know, uh, just a little kind of low pony wall roof. Um yeah. And I will say that from your elevated position, Raven, mm -hmm. you can see just a little more. Um, you can actually see that there is a dude. He's not looking at you. He is faced away from you. Um, but there's a little bridge, the crossing. You know that there's a little kind of manufactured stream that that runs through some of uh some of candle keep and uh this is one of the little bridges that that crosses over it but you see a guy I just shoot a, a mental message to gen so there's one still further down the road at least i can see one there might be more but only one visible at the moment uh raven roll a perception check Ready. 18. So this guy is in a relaxed state. His uh, his sword is is in the scabbard, and he's kind of leaning up against the little low rail. And he just has his arms crossed, and he's looking further to the west. Um, he probably should be on guard, but you guys have been you guys haven't been making any noise with. The past without trace and 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 stuff like that. So he has no reason to, you know, to kind of look back at you. And it seems that uh, he might be thinking that his people have this this area covered because he seems to be at ease and more worried about where what's to the west than back this way. Mm. 
Probably not a land then. <clears throat> oh. Should we go in for a closer look? Sorry, <laughs> the camera's just rearranged. Uh, keep going. <laughs> Um, let, let the others know, since I presume this is just a, a one way to you. Yeah, yeah. Again, yeah, we'll, uh, it is. <laughs> yep. Again, we'll, uh, actually, uh, yep. Re remembering that he has to tell the others, he'll sort of, uh, lift his fingers up and one by one he'll, like, lift a finger and the little thread will appear from it, um, to the other person as he thinks again to them. Yeah, sort of relaying the information that, uh, Raven has given him. Oh, again, again, the switchboard operator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Overglorified switchboard operator. Um, okay. Um, and uh, Sledge uh, through to Gen. Um, is Raven staying on the roofs? And he kind of looks up. Are you staying on the roofs, Raven? There's a, I I noticed him out of my, my passive and I kind of just wave, like, come on, go further. <laughs> oh, and at that, Sledge will be like, all right. And um, he'll start moving forward, kind of keeping an eye on where uh, Raven and Gen are to, because uh, he has no idea currently <laughs> where anything is up front. So he's just kind of keeping an eye on their movements. Yep. And Gen's just going to surge forward. He's pretty confident that he can stay unseen even without, without Trace, but he's cocky like yep. that. <laughs> and Sledge will keep stopping every, you know, every once in a while and, and uh, looking back and uh, everything clear back there. To Narcissus. Uh, I would be keeping an eye out and uh, not responding verbally to Sledge, just oh. being like <laughs> he's, glaring he's like, at him when there's anything what's alive. Going on? Like, I can see the whole group stop when I say that. Uh, oh, <laughs> everybody just stops and stares at you. <laughs> I like this telepathy thing, guys. What's wrong? <laughs> Again, then very pointedly uh, sort of communicates telepathically to Narcissus. Is everything all right back there? Uh, DM, do you want me to roll another perception check? or? Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Roll a perception. I mean, you've got that, that super long sight. Well, it was a not one, so. Oh yeah, everything is totes fine back here. Perfect. Yeah, that that guy's still dead. Um, everything's tray good. There doesn't seem to be anything a problem other than with our friend. Doesn't seem to understand the meaning of stealth. <laughs> I've noticed. Well. You don't see trouble, I trust your eyes. <laughs> um, what could go wrong? Uh, so yes, uh, continuing forward. I'm gonna move forward. Uh, let's see. Uh, how far are we? Uh, all right. So once we get to there, um, I'll kind of uh, I'll reach out to Gen. Um, so does this look like one of the guys that that was attacking, or, or is this? Uh, well, are we going to jump him? <laughs> Am I close enough now to tell whether he looks like one of the enemies? Uh, like ro roll a perception with advantage. Okay. said it was I hold shift yeah there it is 29 nice. uh yeah he looks exactly like one of the guys um at the at the emerald at the emerald door that you guys fought is dressed very very similarly and armed the same you can see in the holster you can see that it's a scimitar and it would shock you if it wasn't the same the same mm -hmm. kind of guy 
I'm gonna say yes. Uh, uh, in that case, um, to Gen, uh, well, I suppose on your and Raven's mark, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. And you see, uh, Sledge has the dung bell and, you know, it's up and he's like, ready, ready to flex. Urgh. Just waiting on your, right. uh, on you guys. I'm going to very quickly, uh, shoot a message to Raven. The wizard wants to attack. He is involved in his right too. I am currently taking a look down this way. Down this way up. that the DM has not revealed yet. Stand by. <laughs> <laughs> in the case of, again, I'm looking for it down the street that is to your left, or you're now facing me ahead of you. Yeah, I mean, from 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 what she told you, you know that 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 is where, um, uh, Aerith had cleared up to, um, you know that she had cleared up to kind of about here, and that she had heard voices to the west as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, so what you gonna do? You gonna you gonna bomb this guy? It seems almost too easy. I say in my head. <laughs> I want to do. Is there any way I could scout further? Let's see. There are stairs going down. There are stairs going down. Um, the the water is deep enough that if if you were to go in it, I mean, even with really good stealth, uh, you're gonna have a hard time stealthing through the water. Right. What if I would I be able to like hang off the side of the bridge and shimmy along it? Physically, you can, but I, I mean, I don't know how you're gonna get past him right here onto the bridge. Fair enough. Like me to teach you how to walk on water. <laughs> you know what? Uh, which way is he facing right now? Because I, he's I still, might do he, a little. He's still facing west. Okay. Okay. He's still he's facing west, so he's not actually looking. Right. 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 Um. Hmm. I try and divert his attention. Uh, I'm going to actually use my normal uh, telepathy to talk in his head and say, "To the south, quickly." Ooh. R roll a deception check, please, with advantage. I will. I will. You got this. I forgot, forgot my advantage, though. Okay, 21. 21. Um, well, he rolled a 2. So it doesn't really <laughs> even matter what his modifiers are. Um, he, he immediately uh, comes to attention, though, and he looks this way. And since the only other way he can look south is this way, he looks this way and for sure sees Sledge and Narcissus and is like, Oh, crap. But, 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 but he hasn't like said anything because he's still trying to figure out where the voice came from and he just sees them and kind of cocks his head to the side. So um, if you would like, I will allow uh, Gen or Raven to have a surprise round. Oh, because he's looking right at you. You're not going to get surprised when he's looking right at you. No, I was just going to grab Narcissus and start making out with her like we were over here. Just two <laughs> high school. I will. Hearts. I will let you have that as the top of the surprise round. Yes, that's what we're doing. So I'm surprise. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, so they're making out as a uh, as a distraction. I'm to distract them. <laughs> and then again, and Raven, if you would like, uh, you can have a. Uh, I'm a going surprise to, round. If I could, I'd like to throw a soul knife at him or a psychic blade at him, either. Uh, sure. All right. Uh, I will get advantage on that, right? Mm -hmm. Since he hasn't seen me. All right. Yep. And he's now watching an oiled up satyr 
<laughs> making out with a bar. Yes. Yes, um, he is. <laughs> that should count as hypnotic pattern just because. You know, like... <laughs> so I actually get to roll a third time because of Elven accuracy. So that's a 27. Uh, yeah, that, that for sure hits. Roll that damage. Oh, goodness gracious. 32 damage. Man, what a, and, what, what a good surprise opener. And I get to follow up with a, well, no, do I get the bonus action or is it just? Uh, I'm going to say no on the surprise. It's just kind of your primary attack. All right, sure. Uh, gotcha. Raven, are you uh, tossing it on this, or are we going to roll for oh, initiative? I also wanted to throw out there for you, uh, if this is considered to be a surprise round, if, if you're considering Sledge and Narcissus to be surprised, they would actually not be surprised, because they're within 30 feet of me, as I have a longbow of warning. Well, it's not surprised against okay. Sledge and Narcissus. Okay, they, I, was making, I was making sure. I was, I was just yeah, curious. Yeah, no, they, they just don't get a surprise attack no problem. against him. I mean, to be but, fair... I probably would have done the same thing anyway. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Look out, no a bandit. Mm. <laughs> There's no one there. Oh. But, uh... Any chance you can get to use hands all over me. What do you <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Now, are you going to use considering this as just, just a, a solitary action or are you doing yeah, movement just... also? Um... Your you, call, can, you, you can move all the way up to him, or you can get a ranged attack, but you can't do both in in this surprise mm -hmm. round. No problem. Well, since I mentioned the bow, I will shoot him with my bow. <laughs> let's let's do it. And again, you're attacking from from he doesn't see you, mm -hmm. so roll that with advantage. Yay! All right. That is a 19 Ooh, on the arrow. Just hits. Roll mm. damage. Sweet. That is 10 points of piercing damage. Alrighty. And now I would like everyone. Stand oh, by. Right. Let me clear out the, uh, the, the, the old order here. Uh, all right, I would like everybody to roll for initiative, please. Make sure you have your token selected when you roll. Uh, I'll, I'll bring my token back on because you broke it again. I did? Yeah! <laughs> oh, that is so weird. Um, yeah. And then it's up. Oh, and what is your? All right, and I'll roll my initiative one second. Right. Make it easy on everybody. Good. Wow. Hey, look, I rolled low. Uh, alrighty. So again, you uh, you get the first attack. All right. I mean, he throws one and it lands, and then he's just going to immediately reach up, pull out another dagger, and throw it at him. Um, All right. Just a blade of glowing red energy. And I suppose this one will not have advantage at this point. Uh, Unless you steady aim and don't move. Well, that's true. You, if, you have well, that's steady true. Aim, if you have steady aim, you could do that, but that locks you into where you are for this turn. And it uses uh, your bonus action, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it also used up my bonus action to check that yeah. was used to attack him again, but it's not that much more damage, so I am just going to lock in where I am, so it's a good idea. Okay, so that is so a 22. The 22 hits, and so All that's right. for 9 plus 18 is uh, 27. Yep, that 27 right? psychic damage. Uh, all right, anything else on your turn? Can't do anything else, so I'm done. Sledge. Oh, well, um, Sledge, after, you know, it's one of those moments where he, you know, lifts the kiss and he's like, ah, gives a wink down at Narcissus, turns around, and he kind of looks at um, the guy and he's like, ah, 
do you mind? And he turns around, <laughs> the dung bell comes out. And when it does, um, he sort of, it looks like he does that whole, like he's throwing it at you, but you know, let's go at the last minute, right? So it drops, right? Mm -hmm. And he does that and an arcane version of it materializes next to him. And thank you Z for this. Uh, it starts doing a shake weight. Um, <laughs> as i cast toll the dead um on on this poor unfortunate soul uh, you mean small weight yes that's that's, small a, weight. that's a wisdom save <laughs> it is it is uh, it's no wonder it does the jacking motion. It does. Huh? it's all in the movement now Goodness that's gracious. all he does you know he's just as a, a spoon so that <laughs> Yeah, your DC is 19. He rolled a 14. So Excellent. he will take uh, those 25 necrotics. <laughs> As this, this swole weight just doom, 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 in his mind. Oh, man. That is the, the, uh, just the imagery of that is brilliant. <laughs> um, and then uh, a little over the shoulder look and a wink and a uh, five foot step to the side for Narcissus. And that is all I shall do. All right, Narcissus. Oh, you're mute. Oh, Why are you utter card? <laughs> and um, she will. How far away am I? Probably figured that out. Oh yes, grand fifty feet. I will take out my um. Her little um, accordion kind of pops out from one of her pockets and plays a little jaunty tune and I cast Fairy Fire. Oh, nice. So that's a dex 19 save. Okay, stand by on that because dex is when he actually has a plus two. Uh, it did not this time help him though. Uh, he has failed his dex save. So he is, uh, tell me what your fairy fire looks like. It looks like, it starts off like musical notes so that you can see written on, like there's sheet music coming out of it. And then it condenses into these little black notes that are like sparkling almost. It's just like little like triangles, crystals. And then they go forward and hit, and you can just see, see kind of like black lines floating up off of them, and it looks like he's almost shining with noise. Amazing. Uh, does Fairy Fire have a damage component, or it's just it just lights them up for advantage for? It for lights others. them up. That's it. Uh, all right. Anything else for you? No, that's the end of my turn. Sledge is jealous of how shiny he is. Well, I will tell you that, uh, first I'll say thank you, Wiley Hobbit, for the, for the resub. Um, I will tell you that after having taken, like, somewhere in the range of a hundred-ish points, uh, this round, <laughs> and the surprise <laughs> round, that he's gonna say, oh, shit, and, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, he is going to run into the uh, the places yet where you have not spied. Um, I am going to leave things in the initiative order for the moment, though. Um, so uh, Raven will have a turn. Okay. Well, since he bolted down that way, I'm going to take a leap and run over and get to about here. And can I still see him running? Oh, yeah. Let me get that get that open for you. Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh, so you actually see 
kind of a few things here. I mean, managing the uh, the map a little. Uh, you see uh, him with the he's got the blue dot. He is running away. Uh, you see very similar to what you had fought out front. Um, what looks like some sort of magic user with the yellow dot. You see um, another person in that kind of red cloak. This is a... Let me change my... This is kind of a bit of uh, kind of gating here. Mm -hmm. And from there inside it, you can see uh, a, a man standing inside. And then the green dot is someone... This looks very similar to uh, the girl that you had captured that got shot in the back of the head. Same Same sort of... Kind of look to her. Uh, they all seem to. Uh, you're not sure about the 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 man that's in here, this guy, uh, but they all seem to be part of the same kind of group, uh, except for this one in the red, which you know is looks like someone who works for Candlekeep uh, as a custodian. Okay. Well, only mildly changes things to a little bit. <laughs> uh, so instead of rushing in like a crazy person. It's not as crazy as I was hoping to be. Uh, and they're, I'm not sure they're all alerted now because of him running around screaming. I'm just going to shoot down at him twice with advantage of my bow and uh, see where things go after I do that. So. Uh, you're going to shoot at the guy that is running? Uh, yes. He's already screaming in like a lunatic as he's running away from us. <laughs> all right. I'm sure he appreciates that. <laughs> Uh, being shot in the back, or the whole him glowing. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's it wasn't. It was only 95 points from the opener that you guys have done. So it's not quite 100 yet. Uh, what is your to hit, please? Ready. The 16 and a 12 on the die, so that's 26 to hit. Uh, 26 will hit. All right. You, why do you? Why did you roll that? Oh, because he's fairy fired. He's that's... fairy fired. I thought yeah. he's running on glowing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With musical notes to stabbing off of him. Mm -hmm. All right, that one is 12 points of piercing damage. Okay. And then second shot at him. That's a nine and a 16, so again, 26. A 26 hits. And... Or 11 more points of piercing damage. Oh, man. he He's running, and, I mean, he looks like he's just, like, at the front end of a marathon, but his movement betrays that. Like, he's kind of just, like, kind of like limpingly slogging along. Uh, he is not not doing well. Um, yeah. I'm going to oh. say that... At the bottom of the turn here, uh, Yellow casts a spell. I was, I was also going to step of the wind. I'm sorry, what does that do? I was going to step of the wind. As a, oh, I see. And tell me what that does. Uh, pretty much it, it gives me another movement. Okay. Uh, and Well, I can use it as, other, as a movement or as a disengage. In this case, I'm using it as a movement. Okay. I am... Just because I don't feel like being put in timeout again. Oh. <laughs> All right, where are you moving to? I come around the corner to be mostly out of sight, but uh, you know, to come back. Uh, more, more of those casters up there. Uh, all right, and so he, uh, <laughs> the, the the yellow dot. You, that's the end of your move. I'm sorry, Raven. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, yellow dot indeed does cast a spell, but uh, it looks like a, just a shimmering kind of dome. Um, all all around, uh, kind of them, their personages, except for blue. Blue did not get caught up in that. Blue's still trying to bleed bleed run along uh and again uh right okay 
Uh, well, first of all, I want to relate to the others. Right. More of the that man's friends up there, including some of those casters. Um, but I am going to go up there. Though. I am going to, I'm going to, is there any way I could try and stealth up there? Uh, that's going to be tough. They're all, they're alerted to their bleeding friend running past and where the bleeding started. I mean, there's a giant pool of blood on the bridge <laughs> where he stood <laughs> just six okay. seconds ago. So, so relaxed and cavalier. <laughs> A little pile of blood because most of it was all brain hemorrhaging. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Now, I mean, you could, if you wanted to, kind of make a a run this way and try to stealth and get across the river and come up on their side. I would. I'd let you give that a go. But to to stealth across the bridge at them. Yeah, I'm not going to try and stealth across tough. the bridge. I'm going to try and stealth across the river. Um, without using the bridge. Which, which way would I go to do that? Sorry. Say that one more time. Which way would I go to... Uh, oh, so yeah, so you, you just... Bridge? Yeah, if, if you if you come up here, just kind of out of his sight, um, you actually wouldn't even have to stealth necessarily because that is out of his sight line. So okay. go five, five, five feet more north and then you can cut across and there's no way he can see you. I mean, I can't see up there even, so I, I oh. don't know what's <laughs> It looks perfectly fine on mine. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No worries. In is one with the darkness. Fair. Okay. Okay, I'll move up there and then... Okay, is there even any way I could cross the, the water from there? Yeah, I mean, it's not like it's fast moving. Um, it's okay. it's probably you know fifteen ish feet across. You could, okay. you're not super sure how deep it is. It it may only be I, like knee deep, just but bonus it might. Action dash maybe. Yeah, yeah. I would say you could bonus action dash across it, and even at half movement, you're still gonna be fine. All right. Yep. Here. Fifteen feet across. So if I'm, yeah, if I'm moving at thirty, and then. Reduced to half movement. That's uh, yeah. That's yeah, but you but close. you didn't you didn't spend everything to get up here though. Oh okay. Right. All right. Uh, I don't sorry, think I, spend any... I, I think you still had like ten feet left. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, maybe you did. Okay. I'm gonna give you ten feet because I told you you'd have ten feet. Okay. And I want you Thanks. to get into this this uh, mess up here. <laughs> <laughs> You're just feeling bad because there's only four of us. <laughs> yeah. I'll go over this way, creeping along the wall. Okay. Um, let me know if I do need to roll stealth or anything. I, I have a pretty good stealth. I will do it. But uh, that's my turn for now. All right, Sledge. Um, sledge. I'm going to, Sledge, give you a free action arcana check. All right, let's give it a go. Man, he cast that spell so smooth. You're like, oh, dude, that must be what it looks like when I cast a spell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm okay. Good form. Good form. You, you may you may take your the rest of your turn now, sir. <laughs> Yay. That was an 11, everyone, with a critical <laughs> one uh, on the check. My, my passive, by the way, is 20, but when Sledge is focused... Well, you don't have muscles. a passive arcana, though. No, 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 but that's, you know, the uh, the fake math with the plus 10. Max right. just gave us $12, which can be 6 um, or 3d6s or 63s, which... No. What? Oh, dude, I'm all My about giving y'all D3s sleep. if we're going to do that. D3s, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So is Thank that you, that's is that's that awesome. that that's three d six inspirations? It could, it could be four d sixes. Uh huh. Or since we we had a, a donation of hundred bits earlier, uh, if we 
tag that to that, that make it mm-hmm. make it be a thirteen hundred, which could be two D twenty inspiration and one D six inspiration. So of the four of you, who still needs insp- D, who still needs D twenty inspiration? Anyone? Me. So two. So okay. you guys decide. Do you do you want to do two? Would you say two D twenties and a D six, or do you want to do four D sixes? Probably the D twenties, uh, but I, I mean, it's up I to the group. That's, that's, yeah. I'm up. I'm up for two D twenties. Yeah. And one yeah, D6. I'd say right. then you two can roll all for the D six. Uh, well, I, I actually I have the button now where I can roll for everyone. So Ooh. I will say Narcissus and Raven both now have D twenty, and we are the five of us are now rolling for the remaining D six inspiration. Do you have the uh, one that uh, Elias yeah, It's not here. Uh, again, it's going to get the D six inspiration with a fifteen. Nice. nice. Uh, thank Ooh, you so th- much, uh, uh, Manx, for that, and and to. Uh, twelve sided guy for the hundred bits, and to um Irish lad for the the extra nine bits that were on that. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Very so. Cool. Uh, again, you have a D six inspiration. Uh, that has to be used uh tonight because uh, it goes away. The D twenties though are all durable and they stay. Uh, sledge. So as. Sledge um, moves forward here. Um, can I see blue, uh, or is what's for sure. there? Yeah, for sure. You, it's it is it is a a clear, shimmering effect of some kind. But you can absolutely see see blue. And he thinks he, like I said, he thinks he is running a marathon and about to win it. Um. Well, getting to there seeing the arrows sticking out of this poor man <laughs> and all this sledge understands when you're working out real hard you rip muscles you know <clears throat> and and the best way to take care of that and uh as he starts to cast you know this sort of kind of uh, bandage looking thing comes out from the component pouch and then a big ice cube and he's like you always got to make sure to ice down those muscles and uh he will attempt to cast chill touch uh at blue there ooh only a 14 so a advantage oh he's yeah, glowing. because yes, he's he very fired that's true he's glowing and let me try one more time come on slut wow and a wow, 14 a 14 again. again. <laughs> so while a 14 in the base case would not hit, uh, as soon as your spell hits kind of this this slightly shimmering clear field, it it kind of skitters off and uh, and, and and does not does not go that way. So maybe that's what deflected it. <laughs> Uh, that is what deflected it because Sledge never misses. Because Sledge and, rolled a one on an Arcana check, and um, that is interesting. Uh, and I actually see that was boom boom. That is all I can do. Um, and so, uh, yep. And I will look beautiful standing right in front of this bridge. What could possibly go wrong? Um, and that is all. Uh, all right, Narcissus. Once more into the fire, and I will move forward. Thirty, so that is my movement, and then I'm gonna just use my crossbow on Blue. Okay. Roll an attack with advantage because he is fairy fired. Fifteen to hit. Uh, 15 is a miss, but again, your as soon as your arrow hits this this whatever this magical spell effect is, it it careens off to the side. That is uh, very strange. Oh, and I only have my bonus action left. So, uh. You know, I think I'll leave it there for now. Okay. Yeah. So now we come to Blue's turn. Um, 10, 15, 20, 30, okay. And he is going to run uh, seemingly to the right uh, around the corner 
and out of everyone's sight and just bl blood from like his his face and his ears and the arrows that are in him just smearing the wall as he is now leaning against it to to run away from you at at top speed did you write down i am not this way <laughs> you got me you can stop chasing me now uh all right so it is now raven's turn Alrighty. All right. So, uh, do a little s a swing about. And, uh, five, ten, two. Let's see, I run across the water because water doesn't stop me. Because what is water? And, uh, what is water to a monk? <laughs> and, uh, how high up is, is this is this wall go? I'm standing next to. Uh, it's so that one is only about uh 15 maybe 20 feet high, easy enough for you to clamber up. All right, yeah, I, I, and if it's 20, then I may I make it there just with the right amount. If it's 15, I have five more feet of movement. Uh, then it is 20. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. <laughs> Good thing I have an additional 70 feet of movement. I mean, um. <laughs> <laughs> He's already given us uh, an extra 10 movement tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you are up here and you can, uh, you know, you can maybe see just a little bit more down into that kind of courtyard area there. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, the, you can see across the 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 shimmering kind of clear field is uh is right there you know just five seven feet away from you maybe Alrighty. well i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna, I'm gonna keep low so as the you know so my crested over would have stayed low so that way I Hopefully not be fully noticed. And then, uh, I'm, just to make sure I'm safe, you know, I'm going to the other uh, dodge action while staying low. Okay. Noted. Mm -hmm. Uh, anything else for you? Um, that, that'll be it for right now. All right. So, the, uh, Raven, you for sure can see that, uh, Green Dot moves to come into this building and um, you see that Red Cloak walks in and the Yellow Dot walks in and you hear this man here just boisterously not bad not bad you were so close uh, maybe uh, maybe you could come work for me next time <laughs> and then he also enters uh, whatever this building is. And uh, it is now Gin's turn. Okay. Wow. All right. I might as well try it. I'm going to sneak around. Can I go through this narrow space here with the bridge and the uh, wall between? The yeah, and the wall? we'll say that that you can kind of like like side hop over the little bit of railing right there. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then I'm going to make the attempt to see if it's even possible to go through this shimmering field here. Okay. Tell me what you're gonna do. I mean, you're just gonna I'm try. Just gonna you're gonna try, try to, to like it. put a, put a hand through it, or just walk through yeah, it, just or put a hand through it. Put a hand through it. Uh, it, your hand does not go through it. It is seemingly a, uh, a solid glass wall. I mean, it's glass cause you can see through it, but huh. it's, it, uh, you, you cannot, you cannot pass. Okay. Interesting. Can I try and roll Arcana just to see if by some off chance I've encountered this before? Absolutely. This will spend your action. But uh, but it's you fine. absolutely can. 
a lot else I'm going to do with that action. Let's see what got. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's Man, six. it is... It, I don't know where they've got this much glass cleaner to make it <laughs> so hold transparent. On. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, listen. That's a six. I have... See if this I have on. not get made fun of on the stream armor. <laughs> yeah, uh, side powered knack works. Is that going to let me try it with this? And I have D6 inspiration as well, right? Uh, you do. Okay. All right. So side powered. I, I, I see Z shaking his head. So is, is, is he barking That's up what the wrong? It is, but he's not saying. <laughs> oh, 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 I see. I see. I see. All right. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Give it a try again. Tell tell us what you're doing. Side bolstered knack, rather. Okay. Uh, yeah, number it's easy. All right. So when you're ninth, when you're not, you say, fail an ability check using a skill or tool, whichever. Oh no, I don't have proficiency in it, so I can't do that. Uh, the most I can hope for is a twelve with the with the inspiration. I'll just try it I anyway. That's a ten. It's probably not going to give me anything. Uh, no, uh, with, with just a 10, that, that's going to be a tough one since you're, I mean, you're not, you're sort of a magic user, but you're like a third caster kind of thing. So, yeah. uh, yeah, unfortunately it is not, uh, it is not familiar to you. That's it's vaguely right. familiar, but you don't know what it is. Yep. Let's uh, make that Alrighty. Sledge, I will, I will again attempt to give you... <laughs> A free arcana check on this now you know sledge only shines when wait for it the pressure's on yeah okay so redeeming yourself from your earlier role with your uh your total <laughs> roll of 24 uh you clock that that is absolutely wall of force the spell wall of force and that you're pretty sure nobody has if your party has in their arsenal anything to 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 shatter that with um, uh, but with a 24 you also know that it only lasts 10 minutes yes and would, as oh, would go ahead. you also know the area it contains as in like the size of it sure it's about the size of that yellow circle that I drew yeah. <laughs> then uh, you would know that Narcissus has a way of getting inside the building. Does she? Dimension door. Oh, snap. I had not thought of that. So uh, Sledge may or may not know that. Uh, if he tells the party what it is, then Narcissus will for sure know that. Um, you can only take one person, though. <laughs> and how many, how many have you seen go in? Well, that's why I'd take one of the sneaky ones. Yes, and don't forget, uh, Sledge has had to sneak his way out of a few situations. He too has Dimension Door. Uh, <laughs> oh man, this is going to get wild next round. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, Sledge will kind of walk up and has he's like, now, you know, that looks like something I've seen before. Uh and of course it's his reflection right in the in the shimmering he's like oh oh this is wall of force and uh he he will uh <laughs> say that out loud um and uh actually uh with narcissus back there um he can make it to here and actually i will uh i will hold um Hmm, I'm going to hold uh, Mind Sliver just in case anyone comes out of this uh, uh, wall of force here. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to kind of wait for uh, Narcissus to uh, to come up here so we can have a better idea of what to do. Uh, and that is all. Awesome. Narcissus. I will move in. That would be my 30, so I will use my action to move just to get in closer. Um, and turn around and say, well, if we want our way in, um, 
perhaps you and I can sort something out as well. Uh, Raven, would you like to come here and maybe I can take you in with me and Swirl, you could take Genin. <laughs> so it looks again like I got you. <laughs> Do I have to be riding on your shoulders for this spell? Absolutely, <laughs> Absolutely, you do. Absolutely. Look right here. There's little stick figures in his <laughs> spell book. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had to be the one on top. <laughs> it's even better if I do a fireman carry on you. Uh, anything else, Narcissus? No, that, that'll be it. You, uh... We come back to Blue, who, now that you've all moved a little closer, you, you can definitely hear some... <sighs> Ooh. Ah. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers better get out of here! We, we're coming! We're coming with the troops! We, we're gonna do y'all in! And he is attempting to intimidate all of you, um, which I'm going to roll at disadvantage. Um, oh, that's actually... Not the worst intimidation roll I've ever seen. What are you doing, man? Your cuts have cuts. Um. Uh, he has no bonuses, so that's uh, a flesh wound. That's I mean that's a ten. I thought he had bonuses, but that's only a ten. Um. Uh, so I guess you could all roll a uh, an insight against it just to make sure that you're oh. not scared away. See how much we have. Uh. <laughs> oh. All right, so... I mean, my passive is 14, though. Oh. <laughs> I just rolled a nine. I just wait on to see what, what, what Raven has rolled. Okay. So, Raven and Gen have uh, have both rolled well over and are no, this guy is not at all. But, uh, you know, Narcissus and, and Swole are like, Maybe there are some cavalry coming. We should we should rethink this next turn, okay? Is we should rethink this. Um And that's all that you know of that he has done. Uh other than briefing the cavalry leader. Uh <laughs> Raven. Alright, well I love this this nice little, you know, snow globe we got here in the middle. And uh I'm just going to uh, have fun running across it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, there. no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, buddy. Oh, no. Oops. Uh, where's my polygon reveal? Oh, oh, my friend. Watch out, Raven. There's cavalry over there. <laughs> He's uh You know Swole, he's terrified of horses. Man, he's he's right down below you. He's actually sitting down now and like he's coming up. You hear him like coming up uh, oh, oh, oh yeah, we're gonna go get him. Yeah, we're gonna go get him. He he's rehearsing voices that he's gonna use on his next round to try to scare the rest of you again. Um but he has no idea that you're right above him now. Well that's good because I was going to fall down and just just start punching him. <laughs> had to stop there since there was a wall of darkness <laughs> uh yeah absolutely absolutely you uh why don't you jump down and start punching him and i'll open a little bit more up of things that you can that you can see this way all right and so you say he is seated now yeah so he's basically more or less in the prone <laughs> position <laughs> well, he's not prone but he is sat uh uh, let, I'm gonna well, give. Uh, anyways, because of oh uh, well, yeah, he's he's still fairy uh, fired, so it doesn't regardless. matter. Regardless, yeah. Alrighty. Come down to him, like. So where's the cavalry? And <laughs> 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 that is a uh, dirty twenty. <laughs> That'll <first>. hit. That'll <laughs> hit. Fourteen points of bludgeoning damage. Oh man, tell me what it looks like. <laughs> so coming down doing the, the, the superhero landing, but instead of like, you know, fully landing, the slams the fist right down on the back of his skull, driving him all the way down into the ground. 
you know, if when then, you when you do that, like his head splits open, and there's far less brain in there than you think there should be, and you you feel that maybe whatever Gen had done to him had actually like burned away some of that brain. Uh, but yes, he is he is handily handily dealt with. Uh, anything else for your turn? Um, I was gonna, you know. Technically, second attack was more of just a like, kick to roll him over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, defile his body. Got it. <laughs> That's a bonus action for a monk, by the way. Uh, oh, well, no, I could do another one as a bonus action for free. Oh man, <laughs> it's also a bonus action for Swole. It's true. <laughs> Uh, yes, but in a, in a very different manner. Uh, anything else? Anything else for well, you? No, that, that'll, that'll be it for the moment. As I, you know, get case to the rest of the aerial men. Alrighty. So we move back to this guy's turn. He, uh, he kind of like grabs the, the red robe a little by the shoulder and quickly ushers him into the building. And walks in, and, and as he's walking in, he just... Bye! And he walks in, and you the, the door is shut, and and you hear it being locked from the other side. Out of curiosity, did they wave to me as I ran across the dome? No, no. They they actually thought that was that was pretty sick. Um, <laughs> they're like, huh, yeah, like it's a good thing uh, we're going in here, because that guy is not to be trifled with. Um, and so we're back to the top of the order. There's uh, not a lot Ken can do here in this situation, to be honest. Um, I don't think if he tried to uh, throw his dagger for his teleportation trick, I don't think it would go through the wall. So, uh, is the dagger physical? It's oh, it's a spell, it's a it's probably yeah, considered it's made a of psychic spell, energy, though. but it's it's magical. So like, I don't yeah. think I, I don't, and it, and it does specify he has to be able to throw it to the space that he can see. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, uh, you you would think that that would not work, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I I do think that would not work actually. Um, so I'm just gonna hold my action until uh, until the wall goes down. Okay. Unfortunately. Sledge. Um. Like you saw Z run over there and like you haven't heard or you saw Raven run over there and you have not heard the engagement with the cavalry yet, but you feel like maybe Raven is just sizing them up. <laughs> um, Raven will sure be back soon to, to tell us how many there are, right? Um, <laughs> uh, I guess the real question is, um, do we want to wait for for it to go down or do we want to force the issue <laughs> that's the autobiography of sledge Swole, <laughs> of sledge written by um <laughs> what do you mean how many there are there aren't any he was bluffing it's not obvious uh, oh well well uh, he sounded pretty real to me um mm. Hmm. All right, then. And um, I will uh, put a hand on um, Gen, and I'll be like, apologies, personal space and whatnot. And I will cast Dimension Door, um, and we will end up um, right here, hopefully. Is, right. is, is, is Gen willing to do this since Swole did not tell you what his plan was? I do okay. Not. Uh, I was just I like, those game is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll be willing to go through. Yeah. Then move move your tokens. All right. Zoop. Um, and uh, once we're uh, here, um, I'll kind of look again and be like, well, now we're in. Uh, we should probably wait for the others, but uh, this lock right here should be no problem. And that is it. Shit, that was a good trick. <laughs> Narcissus. Sure, everybody's marking off all these spell slots you're using. Yes. Oh, yeah, I am. Um... I've been casting fist. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't 
get to Raven. So I'm just going to assume that Raven has a way in. And I'm going to use my dimension door as well. <laughs> but instead of going where the others went to mm -hmm. like inside the force field, I will instead use the ability where you can describe where you're going instead of um, having to be able to see it. So um, I can describe it as a direction. So I will teleport myself uh, 35 feet north. So I should end up in this square up here if it's unoccupied. Are you going... Uh, all right, th so 35 feet north of where you are at that level? Or do you want to go into the upper portion? Ooh, so how many levels are there? Uh, so there's... The, the ground level, and this is the roof for the ground level, and then... I, f I forget. I'm sorry. I can see it so clearly on my map. Can you not see it? Um, <laughs> uh, there's a second level to this to this building. I uh, apologies. So there, this is the the roof of the ground level one. This is the roof of the upper level one. And then this is yet a third level, but. It's hard for you to kind of make out what the roof of that one looks like. Which is why it's still blacked out. Alright, I'm gonna say then 30 feet northwest and up a level. And so the sec second level? Okay. Yeah, so let's just go 40 feet. Let's end up for this square over here, this one. Okay. Uh, go, go ahead and move your, your token over there. And you are on the second level inside. Uh, yeah. This this room is completely dark. I assume I'm uh, not that, inside a wall or anything. You are not. You are you are in a room. Uh, the, it is dark. About twenty five feet north of you, you can actually see that there are what looks like some stairs that go down into the lower level. Just a little bit of light streaming through, and you hear voices from there. All right, I am. That's my action. And I will stay where I am because I totally don't want, uh, I don't want to get caught this early <laughs> <laughs> by myself inside the building. <laughs> Surely Narcissus will be right here. Looks outside, she's gone. Huh. <laughs> uh, all right, so does that complete your turn? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bonus action healing word myself just for a little bit of extra health. Probably wise. That. Yeah, I'm going to do that just at first level just to get a little bit back. Unless you want to drink a potion. I do actually have a potion, yeah. That's true. Yeah, I'll drink a potion. Yeah, you guys, uh, picked, we... up, you guys picked up several potions from... The um, we're playing drinking a potion yourself is bonus, bonus. action, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 2d4 plus 2, yeah, yes. yep, 2d4 plus 2, yep, that's a seven, seven, respectable, yeah, all right, anything else for you? Well, that's it, all right, Raven. This is where, like, where everything's going totally fine. You've only slightly infringed on what I was planning for you to do, and this is where Raven just totally cracks it open like an egg and <laughs> does something that I did not expect. Remember but you, 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 have seen, <laughs> you have seen all of your friends uh, disappear uh, from, from where they were. If you kind of peek back around the corner a little bit, they're just all gone. Okay, so adding to the following, I will, you know, loot said body. Because... Uh, yep. And so the you pick up uh, the a, there's a there's not a health potion because he mm -hmm. he had tried to drink his and had spilled a bunch of it kind of down the front of him. Um, there there are two of the the nondescript red uh, metal slugs that what we're calling the red coins. Um, and then he also has like 40 silver. Okay. 
right. Just marking that on a sheet of mine. Yep. And so that looting is going to be your 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 main action. And uh, then uh, I'll be nice. I won't I won't break things too much for you. <laughs> Instead, what I'll do is I'll just run back up and kind of like you know hop back up on top of the bubble, looking down. Like, and you and like, you see Gen and Sledge down on the ground looking up at you. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Narcissus had said, "Do you want to come over here, and I'll give you a lift." <laughs> you ran away. He had but to go punch like, a hole in a guy's head. He must have his own way. In. There was. She must have her own way. In. To take care of. Uh, all right. Yeah, anything. Fish taking care of something. Okay. Anything, sure no <laughs> anything else for Raven? Uh, basically, I'm just, you know, I'm just going to chill there, you know, up, up on top of the dome. Kind of like looking down, like, how the hell am I going to get in here? <laughs> All righty. So then we advance to the the turn of the person inside who you can't see. Uh, Narcissus inside, you, uh, you for sure see that the, the light that's coming up kind of from the stairwell over there does it gets brighter and you hear some kind of commotion downstairs and, and even uh sledge and Gen outside, you would hear a little bit of the commotion that it sounds a bit like celebration and uh, some kind of hooping and hollering and, um, and, and then suddenly it is all quiet. The, Dome disappears. Raven hits the ground. And I'm assuming that as a monk, you'll be able to do some dope ass monk shit and not take any damage from that. Yep. Uh, I was kind of half expecting this. <laughs> and then suddenly, everything is quiet. Like. I can't hear myself talking quiet? No, like the celebration uh. and the hoopla you heard inside is... It didn't even really, like, die down. It is just gone. Did I hear anything? So, like, was there any other sort of sound that maybe joined in with the hoopla of people noise? It, it was... Like, it was, magic noise? <laughs> there was no magic noise. You heard, uh... I mean, obviously they were they were talking. You heard kind of some, you know, mumblings, but they were they were a little bit hushed to, to try to guard themselves, and um, and kind of nothing specifically beyond that. Well, I don't like that. Hmm. Well, there's only a few reasons to cut a party short. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, Raven. Uh, oh, you're okay. Uh, he looks over, and of course, Raven is probably looking really awesome, landing three point style. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, again, um, still not quite sure where Narcissus went, but uh, I guess we should find why the party ended. Uh, and kind of look to you to open that door. Yep, I'm gonna try and get the door open. Uh, all right, make a make a thieves tools roll. Will do. Uh, I'll assist him by going, you totally got this. So, 29. If you want uh, to, you can have advantage on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to 29, it, it, much like the other one, it, uh, it, it smooth, just click, just unlocks, and, uh, and you're able to, to push the door open. Do, do you go right. inside? I'm going to try and sneak inside. Oh, okay. Roll a stealth. All right. Do I still have a uh, pass without trace, or is that? Um, I was just going to ask. Uh, as long, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, it has not been an hour, and you've not. Have you shot another concentration spell? I have not. Excellent. Then I have pretty good stealth. I rolled a one. I rolled a nat one, and still got a thirty-four. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. How can that be? He's got plus uh, I normally have a 14 and he gave me a plus I normally have a plus 14 to give you plus 10. Yeah, so it should be 20. Uh, his 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 five. did roll it uh, looks like a roll of advantage still but uh, yeah. Oh, should I be rolling with advantage? 
Well, no, no, the, 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 the algorithm, it looks like it rolled with advantage, but then did something else on there also. Yeah, no, that's... it rolled with 1d20, um, mm. plus 10, plus 24. Is 24 your normal base for dex addition? Um, for your, for no. your stealth? My normal is... 14. Is that? That's weird. Yeah, it looks like you temporarily put in the plus 10 to your stealth. Yeah, no, so, no, no, I've got the... yeah. yeah, so it should be 20, 25 instead yeah. of 34. Yeah. Uh, so be... even even with the crit fail on a 25, you, uh, you, you just creep the door open just enough that you can get your body in and you slip inside. And uh, the room, there, there are no personages in the room. There are, right in the center is a table. And uh, something is on the table, and there are a handful of chairs around. But uh, right. at the at the back end of the of the room, there's a set of stairs that go up. Oh, that's that's right. I am a level eleven. I have reliable talent, so that would be a ten regardless. So it would have been. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right, right. I got you. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So there's. The, you you do not see anyone inside. There's a table. There's a table with something on it. Okay. <laughs> I am not going. Can I see what that is? If if you get a little closer to the table, absolutely. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll sneak along with them. I'll yeah, during just the... close enough to see what it is, but I'm not going to touch it or anything yet. Can I try right. sneak down the stairs while all of this is happening? Uh, sure. So why don't uh, Raven and Narcissus both roll a, a stealth, and right. uh, and let's see where we go with this. The I will tell everyone. It looks like the coast is clear. Um, I rolled a thirteen on the die. Oh, sorry. Is Narcissus within thirty of uh Sledge currently? Um. I, I right, know. right around the edge of that. Um, yeah. So, so Narcissus and uh, and Raven are both. Raven slips in, and somehow <laughs> with a thirty six ends up one square past where Gen is. And Gen's like, "How the hell did you just get past me?" <laughs> um, and Narcissus, you're able to get over to the head of the stairs and listen uh, downstairs. And, and you, you again, you don't hear anything down there. Um, Sledge, are you coming like in, or are you gonna stay? Uh, no, Sledge will. Um, after seeing, of course, the uh, two companions go in, and still not knowing where Narcissus is, he uh, uh, will start kind of walking in, and will slowly close the door uh, behind him. Uh, he'll kind of see the object on the table, mm -hmm. and um, Sledge's first reaction isn't that of a wizard, like "What new object that is?" No, his first reaction is. I wonder how heavy that is. Um, and uh, he, he just uh, starts walking uh, in its direction to look down on it. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, we're just, just for flavor and time, we're going to move forward here. And you guys all kind of creep approach around the table. And sitting on the table is a book wrapped in green leather with gold writing on the cover. And it says... The Curious Tale of Wisteria Vale. And that is where we're going to take a break. As we went to break, our intrepid adventurers had found a book. A book that looks very similar to the one that the Harper agent had described to them before everything went sideways um, in, in Candlekeep and the attack happened. Um... Some people had gone into this room, and there was a wall of force keeping the party out. Suddenly, the people are gone. The wall of force is gone. And we're going to turn it back over to the party, who is going to discuss that a little bit. Party? So, let's get one thing out of the way. They're definitely inside the book, right? Uh, Sledge will kind of look at the book look around there's no way all these people could fit inside that book it's far too small <laughs> <Get it. laughs> 
That's what, can you what, hold one of my fingers? <laughs> what notions are you holding? I'm here? sorry, I, I had to do it. I'm sorry. Please, I, well, please continue. Well, you know, Sledge <laughs> was going there. Um, you stole the the wind beneath my wings, sir. Um, That's what I do, man. Uh, so looking at that, and obviously with the name and with the information that was kind of given to us, um, yeah, I. I think that that's what's happened here. Um, the question is, do you, if we pick it up, does it just take us in there? Did did uh, Sarah? It was right. Uh, did she tell us that was what was going to happen? Uh, I believe that if it was just uh, touching it that activated it, then it wouldn't be able to be housed in Candlekeep without it having gone unnoticed for so long. Why do we keep losing librarians? <laughs> you say that, <laughs> but... Uh, uh, is, is there a lot of dust around this book? I mean, it may not have moved for a long time because no one can touch it. We don't Ooh, know. That, uh, that, we were that... told about it moving through several shuffles oh. as part of how they tracked it and how it got <laughs> lost. <laughs> she 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 is absolutely correct, but but no, this this room is very, very well kept. Um, this is it's probably a kind of an an up tier reading room you would imagine. Um, you know, there's if you look around, there's some you know like more upscale like glassware and and like some liquor and stuff. So you imagine it's kind of a hoity toity, you know, gentleman's club reading room kind of thing. Um, Sledge will kind of gauge the, the volume of the book, you know, how big it is. Oh, looks like a light read anyway. Um, <laughs> and, careful, but just use your, your workout hand. <laughs> right. And, uh, at that, um, that is an excellent idea, Raven. And, um, <laughs> in doing so, uh, Sledge begins to make the fist and the, the classic, Oh, the beach is over there. Uh, big old muscle. Uh, Welcome and, to the gun show. Uh. <laughs> um, and Mage Hand will will uh, come out and actually like lift the book up and start kind of floating it in um, my direction. And uh, it's going to kind of hover there. I'm going to look to the group. Uh, should we just pocket this and go or should I open it? Yeah, uh, I think that we probably want to open it somewhere a little bit safer. All right. And uh, on that, I will kind of open the loop uh, on my satchel there and just mage hand the book into the satchel. All okay. right. Now. Very good. Is your mage hand all muscly as well? Oh, yes. It's just, it's literally just a veiny muscle hand, you know. Each, it's actually each... even more defined <laughs> than his. <laughs> yes. Each each index finger is like, you know, has its own little muscle. <laughs> or, you know, each finger. Each finger actually looks like its own arm. Like it's like got like <laughs> biceps and triceps on it almost. Wow. Uh, why did I ask that question? <laughs> well, while he does that, I'm just going to sneak over and pour two, uh, two glasses of perfectly the good stuff but they have you said they have absolutely yeah like like looking at it and, and the kind of the the labels one that it has labels on it but mm -hmm. labels on it and even from the smell of it it, it is all good stuff good. I, just pour, I just pour two in the background while no one's paying attention and then walk over like good job Ken and then extend a, a drink towards Ken and we'll take it with a with a nod. Thank it is you. it is very fine, very very tasty whiskey. You're not so bad yourself. And then he raises the glass <laughs> to Raven and uh, <laughs> tosses it back. I still holding the bottle in my other hand and it's like. <laughs> 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 oh, there's so many thoughts in my head. Uh, yeah, so if if you would like to take a bottle, you can slip a bottle in your pack and just add it to your inventory. Uh, one bottle, fine whiskey, and uh, I'm not sure who would who would ever know that you had it. We can fill up my chest of preserving. <laughs> 
Oh, there might be more bottles. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, if if you want to, let's let's say that there are there are four of you. Let's say there are four bottles of of different differing fine whiskey. If you guys all want one, just add it to okay, your I'll inventory and on D and D B. Absolutely, steal something. Sledge's body is his temple. Uh, no alcohol in this, okay. Um, but uh, Raven, uh, again, please partake. Take one for me. Enjoy. Yeah. Okay, I steal an extra one. <laughs> we'll we'll share this, or give it to your sister. Um. Yeah, so if whoever whoever took the, the remaining one that, that Sledge did not take, then you add two bottles of fine whiskey to your inventory. Uh all right, what's uh what's the plan, friends? Um, Where's somewhere that, safe that we can take it? I think that we need to find this hotbell ID for sure anyway. We don't know actually how to heal the man inside, and it seems like there's going to be more company in there. Agreed. Maybe mm, back to where we had met the, the uh, tavern uh, seems as good a place as any. Okay. For sure. It is likely that the uh, castle keep is safe now, and uh, that uh, the attack was just a distraction in order to get inside to the book. If this man is as powerful that the hoppers wanted to keep him safe, then perhaps there is somebody else who wants to let the chaos out. Hmm. Well, we can't. <laughs> Now that we have it in the bag, and I don't know how the magic from them moving over there goes, but uh, perhaps we do a final do a final sweep around the perimeter to clean up any any extras that might be out there, in case this way we don't have uh, others showing up. So on the way back, maybe uh, go south and and then east rather than just straight the way we had come. We will go, yeah, out the gate to the west and then down south from there to kind of like swing across as to help them make sure that the area is clear. Is my suggestion. Okay. Um, I can tell you that it's 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 mostly clear. There there are a number of corpses that were mm -hmm. you you start to see occasionally some candlekeep monks. Who, who see you and, and kind of almost go on the offensive, but then you don't at all look like them. And and they, some of them, oh, no, no, they're okay. They're okay. Let's come on. Let's go over here. And so there, there, there are a number of, um, of other, of other corpses that they have dispatched. And you start to see people come out of the buildings a little bit, or at least like kind of like peek the doors open and look out. And the, the ruckus that was in this part of the city and, and in the, the courtyard, uh, seems to be diminishing. So yeah, there's, no need, there's no need to drag you through all the fog of war to tell you that. Okay. They obviously recognize uh, Narcissus and I from our Candlekeep calendar uh, monthly <laughs> battle. Uh, they could also recognize you from the makeout session that you guys had. Um, also true. Like well, my performance is in the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> Starring just... roles, starring roles, okay? <laughs> I'm just one of those creepy twins. <laughs> I'm the less creepy one. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> That's what Gen thinks. <laughs> so, uh, as the soul band, he's obviously the more creepy one. <laughs> oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> that um, eye patch. Yo, yeah, oh man, looking into that back of that guy's head was that was clutch. Um, okay, so what are you guys gonna do? What are you What are you thinking? Uh, heading back to, uh, assuming obviously all that's clear, people are recognizing us. Um, 
yeah, I'd say we take it, take it back to where this uh, started and see if we can't uh, back to the, figure to out the how tavern. to get in here. Yes, ba back yes. to the tavern. Okay. Yep, you guys do that. Uh, on the way, uh, Sledge, you try to sign like two or three autographs that are just kind of, oh, and then just very greasily dropped on the ground where after you walk past. Um, I just imagine doing the Ruby Raw, you know, fifth element. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, just, I don't even need pens. I just use the oils. Uh, you know, I just go like this. Oh, <laughs> no. So, say it ain't so. Why did I, sledged. why um, did I allow this? Uh, all right. So, you guys make your way back uh, to the tavern. And uh, you, you, you know, there are just a number of people in there who they have some bumps and bruises and, you know, they're they're trying to, you know, bandage up a little bit. And and it, it's it's not as kind of fun and, and relaxed and boisterous as it is often in there. And uh, you head back to the the private room where this had all begun. And um, in the room are the uh, the gold dragonborn master sage Tomris. And uh, the Harper agent who you had met, um, Sarah. Uh, well met. And um, I kind of will look to the group and uh, give them a shrug like, yeah, we're awesome. And um, I will mage hand the uh, book out. Uh, I assume this is the uh, book you were looking for? Yeah, Sarah, she she gasps audibly and she runs over and, and tries to take the book out of your mage hand's hand and it, there, it, she's not like really fighting, but there's like a like a minor kind of like struggle from it. I, I see the mage hand like try to thumb more, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then she can lift more than ten pounds, so she just like rests oh. it from the mage hand's control. Oh. I uh, told you you could touch it just fine. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where did you, where did you find this? Uh, it was uh, west, uh, if I remember, and no good gyms over there, by the way. Um, there was a group of people. Uh, Narcissus, did you hear or see anything when you were in the the building itself? No, my belief though is that uh, there was a party that was particularly interested in finding this. And uh, they have transported themselves into the plane. She she does a slow, slow takeover to you. Would there was you, at least what? a few, there was at least a few magic users. They kept us out of the building using a wall of force, I believe it was. And uh, by the time myself and Swirl here had uh, dimensioned door into the building, they were celebrating, and then. It stopped, and the book was all that was left. She she sits down. She just her mouth is agape, and and she's she's in shock. I, I just I, I how how could someone how could somebody did did you see who they were that 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 had the book that that went into this this building. And well, closer to her, and as she's saying that, I just reach in my pocket, I grab one of the badges, and I drop it down upon her. Perhaps you tell us, were they yours? Where did you get that? The ones that we just took care of outside. They that, were they were part of the group that took this that's, put in there. That's that's not that's not possible. Do, well, everyone, everyone else. Polite, the ones she has as well. That's... Not only is it possible, they were everywhere. Everyone, roll a perception check, please. Twenty-nine. <laughs> I am tied with Narcissus. Uh, all right, so we have two 23s, a 16, and a 29. Uh, even with the 16, Sledge, because I'm feeling generous tonight. 
Uh, <laughs> it's always uh, Sledge with the even with. Even <laughs> with. I know you have a passive of 20, but you just keep rolling. Like a like, little help. Just just a little help. You know, sometimes you just I'm can't just, get it up there. I'm your, <laughs> hey, I'm your whoa, spotter, whoa, 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 Sledge. Okay. I'm your spotter. Thank you. Thank you. Um, she, um, uh, like, you, you clock no no deceit in her voice. She she absolutely cannot believe the reality in which you were handing these these tokens, these little silver badges to her. Um, and I know that one of you knows what they are because I told that person. Uh, but the, the rest of you, at least three of the four of you, have no idea what these are. So she she is genuine... And 75% of you don't know what the badges are, so I'm going to let you guys sort that out in the RP. It just, there's, there's, this, this is a mistake. These, you, you, you must have created these, or, or I, I just, she's just kind given of stammering. That we, given that we don't know what they are, how could we have made them? This is the first time that I have ever seen one of these. She, uh... And we found more on the bodies than we could get to count. Along with some healing potions as well. And these... It was very strange, to be honest. And the ones that we captured, he was not... Not able to ask or answer many of our questions. Uh, the, ma the Master Sage speaks up at that. Uh, yes, uh... Aerith and, and Riala have taken him for... Deeper... Questioning. We should... We should hopefully know more on that soon. Um, if you don't believe us, then maybe he could help you understand Miss Appel. But uh, for now, we need your information. Whether you believe it or not. Yeah, and uh, as Sledge looks on this conversation and sees, you know, the the obvious fear um, <clears throat> in her eyes, he'll... Uh, well, I... <laughs> I know that look when... When you just don't know if you can lift that much, uh, you keep talking about it not existing and and this that and the other. But uh, well, the fact is, it does. And uh, Sledge looks to the group. I still don't know what it is. So how about we start with that? Uh, what are they? What are these? She she slowly stands up and she sets the book on the table, and she. Someone's phone just buzzed, and she sets her. Uh, she she un undoes her her coat, and she splays it open, and she pulls down just part of her chainmail, and she is wearing a badge exactly like that. And she looks you just with the deepest, deadliest look, and she says, "Those are Harper badges." But I, 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 why? I, I don't. Why would Harper agents attack Candlekeep? There's, there's been no directive from the Harpers on this. What, what did they look like? Who, who, the the men who went into the 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 building with the book? Tell me what they looked like. Uh, again, you you've got pretty close. Uh, so did you, Raven? What what did you see? Perhaps maybe he's the one also who says that maybe we should work for them next time. If you can remember what yes. he looked like, and, and and you can you you begin to describe him as uh, uh you know kind of like mid forties, uh, dark hair, kind of a long dark beard, and it, just everything, it, just his voice and how he quipped at you, everything that you say, she she slowly and more slowly sinks back into her chair and then she's just you hear her say something under her breath but you can't quite make it out you don't have to speak up but uh, i read her lips <laughs> so you uh you read her lips and you know that she said the word soren hmm. i just leaned down and whispered to her something she would probably know quite well Harper's police their own. Harper who hears the call of a personal power can no longer hear the sweet song of the harp. Harper who sees his power and holds it above all else is a traitor to the harp. Traitors must die for the freedom to live. 
when you say that she she stiffens right up and she looks at you and then she defiantly out loud she says his name is Soren he is a former Harper agent uh, he was friends with with Quill and I back in the day and he's he's been gone for a few months we we thought he would just you know just was tired of, of of working within the rules and within the system for as much as we work within the system. Uh, there were rumors that he'd been talking to the Zentarum, but I, it, we chalked that up as rumors. He would never go that far. But it, it, I mean, it, I, it, I just, and it, she's just it, looking, she's looking as she's saying this at all the badges that, that you have handed her. Is it common? I notice you have a badge, uh, I, excuse my ignorance. I don't know the Harper organization very well. Is it common to have multiple badges uh, per person? Uh, well, no, not unless you were reclaiming them from fallen friends. Or, I suppose, from fallen enemies. And, fall and, and at that, she drops the, the handful of badges that she has. She just drops on the table. Almost as like she she feels like that they're dirty. There are a lot of badges here. Uh, what did this Sauron? You say he's just been gone for for a couple of months. Um, <clears throat> was he kicked out? Or did he just leave? Uh, no, he was he was always in trouble and on the edge of being let go and just a, a few months ago he just he had a blow up with uh with, with with the higher ups and he just he just left he he said that he was just done I, I he's done that in the past but he always comes back he normally goes and drinks it off for a few days to a few weeks and then comes back and begs forgiveness and he he's quite good they they've always allowed him to do some penance and, and come back, but I've well, never heard of him doing something like this. This this doesn't, and uh, Sledge gestures to the badges, this doesn't look like merely blowing off steam. He's he's recruiting an army. An army of former Harpers, or maybe Harpers that know him and he they think that this is the mission what so quill obviously is part of of what he wants is this is this individual quill uh, like-minded with sauron do they she she smiles for a moment and then that smile turns very bittersweet. Uh, not, uh, he didn't used to be. He, uh, he, as I had said before, he had come into accidentally the, the possession of, of a cursed artifact and it, it changed his nature and, uh, became very much the way that, that Soren is, is acting now. So I, 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 do you, if you think that Soren ha has the artifact and and has become corrected by it, I I would have said that that was impossible. But after seeing an attack on Candlekeep, uh, I anything's possible. I assume I, I would say it's unlikely, just because he hadn't been seen around the the main halls of the Harpers. But uh, I I can't. I can't say that it's not. Uh, Quill, uh, we would we would all do missions together. Quill was a, a staunchly good man, and uh, the the artifact changed him, and he became just uh, cruel and petty, and not wanting to lose him, we uh, we want to figure out how to how to bring him back, and so that's why we created. And she reaches over and she touches the book. That's why we created this, and at that you hear. The Master Sage kind of bristle and <clears throat> a little bit and brought it 
into my library. This uh, it's the safest Sauron. place. It's safest place. The Sauron, was he involved in this? Would he would he have known about all of this plan to keep Quill safe? Uh, yeah. I mean, as I said, we were we were all friends, and so he he would know that we locked him away. Would he know that he was in the book? I I, I don't know. I was not part of that. That's information that has passed to me semi recently. You hear the Master's Age. <clears throat> okay, a couple of years ago when I dropped the book off. But uh, so if the information got to me, I mean, we were of similar levels. I'm sure that he uh, he could have gotten access to the information. And Master Sage, do you recognize this writing, perhaps? And I'm going to hand over the note that Swole took out of the hand that said about the livestock. Mm. Um, we think that perhaps somebody inside of Candlekeep was helping. There's someone inside, or what? Well, I mean, uh, that. Uh, why? Why would you think that? If you look at the note, we found it in one of your Candlekeep uh, members' hands. I do not believe that he took it out of one of the attackers. There's no blood on it. It is likely that he found it. A message from the outside. And, uh, if we can find out who on the inside was working with them, perhaps we can move further. What, what did he, what did he look like? Ah, this is where we see if you guys remember my character description. He was wearing the red robes, common to the clerks around here. Uh, he was stabbed many times in the back. Um, he was not nearly as good looking as myself. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I'm sure that gives you enough information to, to glean. <laughs> I don't know if Opera Sun is watching or not, but Sledge is my air horn, so I I I know I, <laughs> Sledge is my air horn. Um, it, with, with the in, in the red robes are the are the custodians. Uh, it, oh yeah, that's it. Would I I would did I see the I I saw the body yet? Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Then I can cast do -do -do -do. minor illusion and just display the face. Mm, she I, does that, and Sledge is like, "Yeah, that's him." I the Master Sage turns her head a couple of times and studies studies the face very closely. I, I I am sorry to say that I I don't know all of the custodians, but uh, I, I mean he certainly his face rings a bell, uh, and it's ab I mean it's absolutely someone that that I that I feel like I have seen before. We think that he just found the note, not that he was the intended recipient, and that he was attempting to warn perhaps yourself or one of the higher ups that an attack was imminent. And Sarah. Pipes in. Well, didn't you say that there were people in red robes with Soren and his group? Yes, there were. And I, I'm going to show up any of the faces that I've seen, just kind of like swapping through them each individually, just giving them like a minute, the one minute to like have a look at each of them. Mm -hmm. there, there was one that uh, went into the room with him and the others before vanishing. And then there was, of course, there was the well, the casters, a few of which are similar to the kin to the outside. Yeah, so the, as, as you show the faces, the the um, the, the the casters don't really ring a bell. You show the the face of of the man who had quipped at you, and uh, Sarah viscerally reacts, uh, she almost going for her dagger. It is absolutely someone who has who has rung a bell for her, and 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 she she confirms she shakes her head very slowly that 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 is Soren. 
Um, as you go through the uh, the the other the the red robes that were that were with them, the um, the master sage says, "Ah, ah, stop, stop! Yes, yes, he. I absolutely know him. Well, I I see him nearly every day. I don't know what his name is, but I see him nearly every day cleaning up outside my office. Was was." Was he a prisoner? Was he in was he in, in chains? He seemed to uh be there of his own volition. Complicit to an attack on the library. And just so just so I have everything uh in perspective. So now we have Harper's um people whom we were uh, employed by <clears throat> and Candlekeep uh, folks all involved in this plot. Um, I'm going to look to Gen and Raven and Narcissus and, well, I don't know about you, but I am not feeling very safe or secure uh, currently. Um, is it common for you guys to have these kind of... Uh, Internal issues all the time. Candlekeep has not been attacked in decades. It is is nearly nearly impossible to pull off what they have done. And you see Sarah sitting there with. She's thinking, and it, it's it's not a grin on her face, but but you can tell that she she has clocked something in her memory that that that, that she has when the Master Sage says that. I mean, much like. When you said that you can't have found these on them, you all knew that you did. It's impossible to to attack Kanaki like this. Uh, Sarah, the look on her face betrays that she she knows something. I just mutter on my breath. This hasn't happened, happened in over a hundred years, but it has happened. <laughs> oh, really. It might be the, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Gen. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It, uh, might have to do with the old, uh, polymorph flaw. The Master Sage wheels on her as though she is going to cut her heart out. How do you know about that? She sits down. Sarah does. Harper's know things, unfortunately. And if I know it, Soren could know it. And since they know it, well, we might as well all know it. No, that is that is the the highest level of there. There are just things that we cannot allow to be known farther than they already are. Good security should not be held on the secrecy of the weakest link. You, you, I have not hired you for security of the candle keep. Uh, we've hired you for this job. The Master Sage, you have no, never... No, but when we go into this building and we go into this book, we will be in your safety. You, you will have this book. You have never seen her speak uh, out of turn you've never seen her speak uh rashly or 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 loudly this is something that none of you in in the couple of years you've been working here you've never seen the master say she is always like precisely on point and she she is rattled on this Now, now, it's, it's okay, it's okay. It's just, when we start thinking of security and, and Narcissus has a point, when we are in this book, um, well, this book is in your care. And currently, I don't feel very safe. Uh, I don't feel like you are a good spotter. Um, and I don't go to the gym without a good spotter, if you My understand me. My worry is more that if perhaps something happens to us when we are inside, 
it is the other party who will be coming out. And if they already know of this polymorph floor, whatever it is, then you might be powerless to stop them escaping. She has regained her composure. Yes, I... I understand what you're saying. Uh... We will... You knowing... The flaw... Will not... Help you in any way. Us knowing that they... Probably know of it... Does tip the, the scale in our favor. Um... We will keep the book here. We will, we will we will have a copy made. We will take the copy back to the stacks. Your book will stay here. And she dead levels a finger at, at Sarah. And you will stay here with the book. Since you have brought this to our doorstep. And we will post 24-hour guard outside. So when you come back, whoever comes back will have to satisfy Sarah. That seems quite acceptable. Thank you. Uh, acceptable like Manx with another 20 bits. Yay! Um, uh, that's actually 20 bits right now and 20 bits half an hour ago because Manx is awesome. Uh, we also and got a resub. Thank you for Beardwardo for a resub. Yay! Oh Yay! <laughs> um, oh my god, so handsome. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but man. Seems like he's got some real muscles on him that he's flexing <laughs> he's, on in the chat here. He's flexing it hard you in chat. think he's a good spotter? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sarah walks over and reaches into her bag and she pulls out a um an amethyst dagger it, it it looks like this this is a a normal sized dagger but it looks to have been carved from one single piece of amethyst it, it, the craftsmanship is is exquisite uh there's leather wrapped around the hilt and if you look very closely there just the tiniest little runes emblazoned along the blade um when the light hits it, it, it it just appears to pulse with an inner radiance. And she lays the, the dagger on top of the book. You must go in and you must get to Quill before Soren gets to Quill. Or you have to deal with Soren and then go find Quill. This dagger is years in the making. And it is what the best of the Harpers believe can cure Quill. Is this a permanent cure? As, as Sledge looks at the dagger and uh, is definitely giving you the face of... Um, I do not believe that they mean a cure to life, my friend. He's doing this like over obviously. Well, like, hmm. <laughs> I did ask that question earlier. <laughs> no, no. Uh, it, well, it is. Let's put it this way: you get paid if he comes back alive and cured. Um, the uh, he, okay, I'm not gonna lie. He, you actually do have to stab him with the dagger, uh, but the dagger will draw the curse off of him and and it will be sucked into the, the, the heart and she, she lets it kind of shine in the light again. The curse will be drawn into the heart of the dagger. Um, I don't know how you want to do it. You can talk him into it if you're, if you're clever. You can run up on him and stab him if you're fast. Um, but I do know that if And she 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 looks as though she's biting back just the slightest edge of a tear. If Soren gets to him and he is like he was when I last saw him, they'll get out of that book and they'll wreak havoc. 
this was just this was nothing compared to what those two could do with the knowledge that they share out of curiosity because magic is not my forte 100 percent but that dagger is it just a one time or could it be used more than once for its ability because maybe and i'm just guessing here because i don't know if it could or couldn't but could it also work on on soren hmm. theoretically if he if he has been changed by the artifact then it, it, yes it absolutely could work um but I will give you another thousand gold for his Harper badge and the knowledge that he is dead. Hey. And when and when she says that, the Master Sage says, and Candlekeep will add a thousand for Soren's badge. And the assurance that he is dead. The assurance. The assurance <laughs> that he... <laughs> words, everyone. The assurance that he is dead. The, the, whether he is accidentally turned evil or not, if he ever comes back to the realms, he must be punished for this action. She gestures around to... Obviously to the, the attack on Candlekeep. So, what do you think? I think, as long as we're protected here, um, I think that's something that uh, that we could do. Uh, however, uh, I know that uh, Aerith and uh, Riala, well, we're going to need their help, I think. Um and also, I I did work up a good little sweat. So uh, if this is a matter of um, some immediacy, are, are we allowed to rest a bit before we gather up for this uh, sure-to-be-exciting journey? The two share a look. Um, I... Uh, only you can make that decision. The Riala and, and and Aerith, we can we can get them in the same way that 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 you will enter. Uh, once once you discover how to get in, I'm here with you. I'll know how to get in. I can just tell them. Um, if you rest, you're better prepared, and he is maybe less prepared. I'm. If you rest, you're better prepared, but he is also better prepared. If you go now. Some of your resources are spent, but so are some of his. So, uh, it the choice is yours. I'm good with whatever. Uh, if even if it's only just for an hour, that is plenty for me. But I understand that you and the other casters may, might need longer. Well, let's. The master sage says, "Let's start with an hour and see how we feel." And she goes to the to the door where suddenly now there there weren't when you came in but there are absolutely three big thick fucking guards outside the door now you're not super sure what kind of mojo she's working but she she says something to one of them and um and they they you know trundle off and then and come back with a tray of of food and drink uh from the bar and um you, you can sit and you can have a short rest. You can talk about what you want to do. If you want to talk in private, uh, you can ask them and they can probably be persuaded to leave you alone. Uh, if we're going to take a short rest, Narcissus will polite her pan flute this time and play a little song of rest. What, do, do you have that pan flute? <laughs> All right, so Yay. Sledge, I'm going to need you to roll save versus charm. <laughs> uh, because, disadvantage. Cause, yeah, because <laughs> Sledge is a satyr, and I need to know that Narcissus isn't about to puppet master him. 
It's never going to happen. Um, <laughs> he says as he dances. Uh, it's, uh, uh, uh. Um, I should, you know, uh, wait, what am I rolling? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, that, no, I'm no, kidding. no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to roll. I'm gonna <laughs> no, roll no, that was, lowest. that was. I, I was looking for the lowest one. I wanted to fail. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when it's a skill check, you can choose to fail. <laughs> oh, d- I am mesmerized. Um, so would you guys like to, to have some privacy? Would you like to, to ask them to step out for a little while so you guys can oh. talk through? Or do you want to keep them? them if they know what the red slug is, the red metal coins? Uh, they both seem very perplexed by that, um, and uh, they both ask you if they can if they can have one for a little while, and they will they will ask some questions on them. Okay, so they each they they each take one, and and they're you know you like the master sage immediately tries to cast detect magic on it, and it it doesn't ping doesn't ping any kind of magic or anything, and so they they're going to get on the case of the red coins. Yeah, I basically put my put those red coins slash red slugs, you know, onto the table, just so they're there. Okay. And uh, as she's playing her little song, I will, of course, uh, uh, make make the, the the food and drinks that they had uh, they brought in a little bit better for everybody, as I too help with the uh, the rest. Awesome. Okay, I like it. Um, so they uh, the the two of them leave to go send some messages to try to find out if anyone knows anything about the coins you've handed them. And again, you see the guards standing outside, and they nod their head as the door shuts. And so now the four of you are song of resting. Your your monk resting. You're eating some food. You're you're drinking some some water or some ale and um you guys have a have a couple of minutes here to discuss what your what your plan is what you're worried about well i uh came to candlekeep to visit the world renowned uh lifting and rock walls and gyms i didn't realize that so many people here were well out to get candle keep. Um, well, they well, do have a sauna right outside on the East Gate. That's why I came here. <laughs> I mean, um, so and kind of looking to to the group, uh, Sledge is looking at the book, and you know, he's he's up for the excitement of it and and the workout, um, but he is to Narcissus' point earlier very concerned about the security um around us being in this book um so you know outwardly he's kind of you know uh, you know rubbing his chiseled jaw um and he's like i just it's not so much the going in there it's the it's what happens when we're in there uh, uh. and raven you seemed really familiar with what was going on. Um, had you recognized those badges before? I've, I've known people over my, uh, my life and yes, I have seen them before. Some who did not know the way and some who did, who followed through and sung the song. It is a, Definitely haven't seen the likes of them falling in at least a century. Uh, and assuming that uh, our other companions can get into the book and get back, um, what do we want to do? Do we want to dive right in right after this snack here? Or what are you guys thinking? Or I decide I'm in, I want to know if my sister's in. My worry about diving right in is that I do not think diving right back out will be as easy. <laughs> what? 
Come on now, you don't think it's gonna be just go in and do it and come back out? Would I do I... that to you? Yes. <laughs> yes, you would. I would um... give you inspiration if you didn't already have it. <laughs> what? Because I can see the future. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you read me so well, like a book. Get it? Um, I and I agree. Um, her point about him being prepared, and it would be nice if they had so some sort of idea of what was in this this prison, essentially. Uh, hmm. Uh, everybody make a history check for me. Oh my goodness, have we found the thing that he can roll on? Ooh. Nice. Not 20, baby, not 20. Yeah. And what'd you get, Raven? I got a whopping 11. So, everyone except Raven will recognize the fact that um, Wisteria Vale was a it was a village, um, an actual place. Uh, it was on the river uh, Chianthar, just east of Baldur's Gate, and I don't know, maybe maybe ten or. 10 or 15 years ago, uh, it, the, the village was destroyed. C completely destroyed. Nothing but nothing but ruins left. No one ever... Um, no one ever rebuilt. And so you know that the name of this certainly references a place that was real in, in real life. Uh, out of curiosity... Me more out of game wise. Uh, how badly does uh, Narcissus Sledge and Gen look during, at the beginning of like, the short rest that we're taking? Um, so, well, Sledge looks amazing. <laughs> um, but uh, he he was at about, oh, say, half as normal. <laughs> half mm -hmm. as amazing, right? Um, after short rest, uh, almost full. Well, I'm inquiring for before the uh, short rest effects fully hit because I have I'm going to be doing something also during it. That's why I'm inquiring. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm. Half. I'm a. I was about a third under, maybe. Okay. I, uh, yeah, I'd lost about a quarter of my health. Okay. So, uh, half a third and a quarter. Now do the math. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to since I I'll, I'll get my key points back on, on the. At the end of the short rest, I will utilize the remaining key points I have and do a whole lot of hands of healing and basically kind of give the, the Xena aspect where I, I just do a lot of pokes in everybody to heal them up. Sledge is leaned back, deep tissue massage. Ah. <laughs> For you, it's kind of like a, just a, give you the, the, the gibbs upside the back of the head. To Ow. <laughs> 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 Ow, Ooh, but it felt good. Oh, this is a new kind of therapy. Mm. <laughs> I like your coaching. Uh, shenanigans. And. All right, so I start off. I mean, I'll, I'll throw some numbers here and I'll just type it in the chat to save uh, me spewing numbers constantly. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Oh, no. My phone died. Just. Stand by, everyone. We're professionals. <laughs> we'll fix it in post. <sighs> uh, this is really difficult to fix in post. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Let me let me get my phone and see if I can join it. If I don't have extra blank cameras, then we have to re. Realign everything. Mm. Oh, coming back in. I 
think she got it back on. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Awesome. And that puts us back realigned. Okay. Crisis averted. Uh, yeah, everyone yeah. continue. So healing all around. That should uh, help everybody a little bit extra. So, so you, before you guys dive in, you want to wait on uh, to hear from Riala and Aerith to make sure that they're kosher with this. Yes, um, and also I uh, I need to bring my um, my spotting partner for life. Uh, some people find it out there and here and there. I happen to find it in a magical little creature. Uh, it'll take a little time, but um, given about an hour, uh, I will be summoning my familiar uh, when <laughs> when we get a moment. Mm, thank you, Gronk at KNB for hosting us. Yeah. Um, okay, so while while you are doing find familiar. Would uh would anyone like to look at the book or read it a little, open it? Uh so read far it. none of you know how this works, so uh, I'm playing my tune, so like this is my favorite thing. So I've got a I've got an X from Gen. Uh Narcissus is playing a tune. Uh S Sledge is Sledge. doing fine familiar. Raven is is just healing everybody. All right. Not knowing how the, how the thing works. You didn't that's... hire us for reading? What? <laughs> oh, this is going to be so good. Uh, okay. Well, so if... We are people of action. <laughs> if, uh, if you guys aren't interested in reading the book and you want to wait until your other players uh, are here to discuss to make sure that you want to actually go in then I would say this is a good spot to uh, to call it a to call it a night for tonight's stream. You're not tricking us into jumping in now. <laughs> hey, as much as you know, I mean, Sledge isn't scared, of course, but I mean, having Riala there to show off in front of, you know, that's the real reason we're waiting. You know. Well, absolutely. I mean, you can't blame a DM for trying to <laughs> lure you into the meat grinder death trap when there's only four of you. <laughs> um, it does make good content. <laughs> uh, that's true. I mean, nothing. No, no, no good as content as dead characters. <laughs>